Good afternoon, everybody. This is Pocket Sucks, and I'm here with one of my friends, Crash Roni, and we're going to be guessing Hello. some NADCL week one between now. the Vendetta and Pretty Boy Swag. So, so this is looking to be a pretty interesting game. Uh, looking at the bit of a journey that both of these teams made into the actual season, uh, does look like Team Vendetta has been completely dominating their brackets. They went 1-0 over, over Risky Biscuits, 2-0 uh, over Anti Kythera, and then they also went 2-0 over Evil Speed. And likewise in a pretty similar fashion as well, uh, Pretty Boy Swag, 1-0 over Glazed Gaming, 2-0 over Mango Bay, and 2-0 over EG Bulba. So this should be a pretty, pretty interesting game, Crash, I, I do believe. I think so. Yeah, and uh, we also have some pretty uh, pretty high rated players as well on both sides. Uh, I mean, both sides chock full of immortal players. Um, I mean, I just took a quick browse into all the MMRs, and all of these guys are well within top. I want to say at least Five top five hundred on the immortal charts. I think Immor uh, Robot Vice is probably the only person <laughs> who's uh, a little bit higher on that list, but I wasn't able cool. to verify, but. This is looking to be pretty good. Bands already coming out for Necro Sancer, Earthshaker, Wisp, Tiny. A lot of uh, a lot of strong heroes actually getting banned out. Most notably, probably the Necro, the Tiny, and the Earthshaker, and now the Winter Wyvern as well. So, so. pretty uh, pretty normal bands coming out. Uh, they've both all seen all these heroes have seen a big spike in this new patch, and now everyone's pretty used to it, so they know what to deal with and whatnot, uh, what they can't. So. Both teams knowing their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, absolutely. Dire team pick. It does look like first pick is going to be Weaver. Uh, Weaver, a uh, rather good core, a little squishy, but it's okay, though. He's got the mobility and he's got that time lapse to save him. And he's a pretty good core. It's been seen played in all three lanes, actually, as of lately. Yep. Yeah, he's one of those. He's one of those heroes. It's really good. <laughs> yep. Just uh, happens to be one of those... Uh... One of the flavor of the month. So hard to catch and able to survive a lot of damage, uh, provided he's able to survive a couple stuns and get through the burst. And hey, look, time lapse. I'm back to full health now. Yeah. So, take a look at seeing what uh, Pretty Boy Swag is going to be going into. Um, In terms of seating, let me actually figure out what we have in terms of seating. I'm not too sure, though. Do, 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 do. Let us see. Let us see. Do, 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 do. Pretty boy swag. Uh, pretty pretty deep into the think tank right now, trying to figure out what it is that they want to go for the first pick. And they're gonna go for a Bane. Okay, so Bane's uh, Bane's one of those heroes that you know does quite well against Weaver, Nightmare, as well as uh, as well as Brain Sap. Yeah. Brain's... And to go with that Bane, I guess they're gonna. She's pick up the Marana. Yeah, I mean, talking about a pretty good synergy, especially with, you know, Marana be also being able to play support or core hero. Nightmare into a Sacred Arrow is always a pretty scary combo that you always need to watch out for. Um, sets you up for a good five-second stun at max range, at you know, at most. But that's a lot of damage, though, that can very quickly jump on top of you, quite literally, with the leap yeah. coming in from Marana. <laughs> so... Already, uh, Pretty Boy Swag coming out with a uh, pretty, pretty interesting and pretty aggressive combination. But Vendetta, they're gonna, they're gonna pick up the Trant Protector. Uh, Trant, I feel like Trant's a very good support, actually. He... Trant, yeah, tr I feel like Trant. I don't know. Trant kind of came out of nowhere, but he's been good for a while. But he's just really good now with these, like, you know, you want to push, but you kind of want to siege. You don't want to, like, you know, go for a full push. And Trant just hates every second of. Uh, Makes you hate every second of your sieging. Right, exactly. And then not only that, though, but, you know, it's kind of similar to, you know, an Earthshaker in terms of you don't want to stay too clumped up because he can literally just come out out of the middle of nowhere and, you know, hey, the other team's running to you, but you can't run away because Roots just came out of nowhere. Yep. Um, Bands coming out for Terrorblade, Phantom Lancer, and Drow Ranger. So, interestingly enough, um, the Drow Ranger band, Drow has actually seen a lot of popularity as of late, which is... It's pretty good, honestly. And at the same time, though, it's also led to a lot of fast games where 
just yeah <laughs> it's an interesting little thing and it's kind of a pattern that i've noticed for at least the least uh at least a little bit where you the meta kind of dissolves back into drow strats yeah where you know like like drow, drow pretty good pretty good I, w- I would say pretty balanced hero right um and you know the game always goes back to being revolved around a drow strat uh as it's being picked up a lot more recently <laughs> i mean in in the end it's it's just a question of i mean can you survive are you able to have your tier three towers up by 20 minutes you know yeah it, with drought it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pizza delivery thing it's we're at your front door by 20 minutes or your pizza's free <laughs> that's fair it, it, it kind of makes you think of um when a lichen used to be incredibly meta <laughs> oh my god yeah oh man i don't i'm I'm sorry but i really don't wish for those days again <laughs> yeah lichen tried to bring a bit of resurgence back this meta but uh Nothing came out of it, so thank God. <laughs> yep. I was not mentally ready for that hero again. Absolutely. But, you know, Pretty Boy Swag actually into the, you know, they're thinking real hard right now, actually. You know, going in very well into their reserve time. So they are, they're definitely making sure that they make sure that they make good picks. And they will be able to pick up a Nyx Assassin. So Nyx Assassin. Are- He's a good offlane, um, and he's also he's also a pretty good hunter as well. Uh, towards the mid game as well, once he get does get that vendetta, and he's also pretty good for high ground defense as well. I feel, especially once he gets his Aghanim scepter. And new new Nyx, well oh, new Nyx. Nyx is pretty good. Um, pushing now really with the way he gets a meter hammer. <laughs> Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit of extra pressure, a um, little bit of, a little bit of AOE stun. Can't go wrong with that stuff, and it's also an insta kill on a lot of people. Like a lot of, not even like not squishy, but not like, not super tanky. Well, I mean, if you look at it as well, depending on how the setup goes, Pretty Boy Swag can essentially insta give Weaver, provided that they get everything locked down properly. Yeah, and that is something that is very scary, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, the only thing that I can think of right now that would be able to stop them from, you know, insta-giving is pretty much, you know, train protector getting a living armor on just the right time or something. Yeah. I mean, that's... Oh, probably. <laughs> you know, that's the only thing I could think of. But other than that, I mean, it's looking really scary. And Ogre Magoo is going to get picked up. <laughs> Ogre Magi. Yeah. yeah. Do, you think, do you think we're going to see a three Ogre? Um, I, I've noticed three ogre is definitely picked up in in popularity yeah. a lot recently. Uh, I mean at, at at the same time though, three ogre I feel like it might work in this scenario, but I'm not too sure though. Five I mean I've seconds mm. morphling. morphling, very interesting. We haven't seen a lot of. I don't think we've seen any morphling plays so far. So far, no, today. we haven't. <laughs> Well, not today, but as of recently, actually. So. Well, no, like we haven't recently. I yeah. haven't seen Weaver recently. Though. I've seen him a few times. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm pros, not gonna lie though. But... I love Morphling though. Morphling, in my opinion, is a phenomenal hero. Really good hero. Probably one of my favorites. Um, I Five honestly, contrary to belief, I actually don't like Morph. <laughs> like the, his new ulti, I, I I like his old ulti way better. Really. Yeah, I was honestly a fan of his old older ulti. Um, for like the <laughs> making a time. replicate and being able to push. Uh, I I found it very un like not very balanced. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm I mean, as a push out of a lane and like <laughs> as a war player, I guess that's probably why I liked it so much. But I mean, at the same yeah. time though, I definitely feel like that they've increased the skill ceiling of Morphling though with his new ult, and I feel like that has actually made things so much better as well. So, um. Good on, you know, good on Valve, good on, good on Ice Frog. Good on Ice Frog. But, I mean, it just... Good on Bruno. It, it, it just, it's just a really big feels bad for, for a little scrub like me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
Hey, you know what? I'm I'm not afraid to admit I'm not the best Dota player. There you go. All right, that's the first step. Exactly. Dota that's you... the first step. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, wow. Actually, I think that uh, I think the Morphling pick actually might have gotten Vendetta stumped a little bit. You know, they're they're about to hit ten seconds left of reserve time. These last two cores are very important. Yeah. They need. They're gonna need a bit more lockdown now. There's a. There's a morphling. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> so, so that is gonna be a a three ogre ogre magi. Or a three titan. Uh, I haven't. Don't get my hopes up, please. I was about to say. Have you seen a three elder titan no. though? <laughs> no. But I'm excited to. See I don't know, dude. I don't know. Three elder titan with an ogre magi. That seems pretty good. In theory, you're not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong in theory. <laughs> uh, looking for looking for some mid heroes. Uh, survey says TA is banned, and uh, Vendetta looking to ban another mid hero. But so looking at both of these lineups, this is definitely going to be interesting towards the laning phase. I feel. Um, I mean, if I had to take a guess. You know, you're going to have Ogre Magi and Elder Titan going bot lane, I'm guessing? Yeah, that's yeah. what I think. And then Treant Weaver in the top lane. And then reverse it over to the other side. I'm guessing, Ni you know, Nyx is probably going to go with Marana, Bane with Morphling, if I had to make a guess. But, uh, I, mean, it, I mean, it depends because Marana is a complete wild card. She could be a core, she could be a support, depending on how they feel that they need her flex in terms of flexibility. So, I mean, the Husker is going to get banned, which that's actually a pretty good idea considering the amount of meat and Five health that you have. I mean, Trim Protector, pretty tanky support. Ogre Magi, pretty tanky support. Storm Elder Spirit. Titan's also tanky, but you know what, though? Storm Spirit with the Zip Zaps, I mean. That's interesting, though, because they've got, technically, everyone has some sort of disable. Yeah. And so I feel like Storm's not going to have a fun game. I was about to say, you have, like, Team Lockdown versus Team Meat. Like, meat and potatoes. <laughs> Five seconds it's it's, 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 it's going to be interesting because, like, just looking at the draft, um, it's, it's probably going to be, like, a mid-Marana. There's a chance it's going to be a mid-Marana. Right. And if it's not... Then the storm's gonna be expecting it should be expecting ganks from three people. Exactly. Uh, there's a lot of roaming potential between the Nyx, between the Bane, between Marana, and but I mean we're about to find out right now, and it's gonna be a timber saw. So yeah, it is gonna be a mid Marana. So all right. So this is gonna be this is gonna be rather interesting. Uh, it does look like for Team Vendetta we do have our players locked in. So we're gonna have Sammy Boy on the Weaver bump fight. Is gonna be on Treant Protector. Sammy Girl is gonna be on your Ogre Magi. Robot Vice is gonna be on Elder Titan. Gunner on Storm Spirit. Whereas we're gonna have Eye Drops on Bane. I'm not gonna pronounce that on Marana. <laughs> Old White is gonna be on Nyx Assassin. Oh. ZR is on Morphling, and Ryu Boru's is gonna be on your Timber Saw. So, Interesting. yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this game's gonna go. Yeah. Um. Likewise. Uh. I feel like. Hmm. Looking at the laning stage, though, you know, I feel like that Vendetta is definitely gonna be able to take the the brute amount of harassment that's gonna be coming in to them during this laning phase. So. So who are you who are you who are you voting for? Uh. If I had to, I mean, honestly, I'm you have a, to life or death. I'm a little biased towards Pretty Boy Swag's lineup, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I mean, I I feel like that. I mean, I mean, they have two of my more favorite heroes. I mean, they got Marana, they got the Morphling, but I mean, between that, they also have really strong laning heroes as well. And it's kind of like what you said. Storm Spirit's gonna have to worry a lot about the way of how some of these rotations are gonna be coming over into the mid lane. Yeah. Because there is just way too much lockdown. Everybody except for Timbersaw now has a lockdown. Has a, yeah. Which is rather concerning. Um, it does look like Weaver is actually going to be landing up top with Tree and Protector. And we're going to have Ogre Magi and the Elder Titan is going to be bot. So 
And interestingly enough, no, it's going to be a Morphling mid, actually. Oh. Morphling mid, Bane's going to lane up with Murana, which is going to be very scary. So, yeah, right still pretty good, yeah. Rightfully so, though. I mean, they're going to have two pretty tanky two, two pretty tanky supports, though, over into the bot lane. So, it shouldn't be too bad. As well as, if anything does happen, I mean, one can easily tank the arrow for the other or just clear the nightmare stack. So, it shouldn't be... Do you think we're going to see any Boris plays? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and very interesting enough, actually, both mid laners are actually going to be... Uh... So, here's the question. <laughs> I really wonder if it was pinged out by the Storm Spirit, because it looks like he got his ward down just seconds before. Maybe. But So, they both saw each other, I feel. But they, Well, I mean, yeah, that's how... The, it, it's daytime, right? So, they should be able to see each other. Yep. They both walk there at the same time. No. Yeah. Bane has a sentry. Morana looks like she's going to a masquerade party. Oh, uh, yeah. Arrow might be flying out, and it does look like that they are going to be able to just grab this rune. No, actually, no. They're going to spot. They're going to spot over the two. Sp they're going to spot them, and they're just going to back off. And you know, everybody's just going to be rather peaceful. What is Weaver doing? Here's the question. You know okay. what? Weaver's uh, well, just... I think he had to he drop a ward? I'm not Di sure. Dire ward got pinged out here. Yeah. Okay. Storm, Sentry, Salve on Curry. Oh. Well, Weaver's coming back over into the top lane, so it doesn't look like he's really missing out on anything. So, it, except for... Minus some mana, but... Other than that, not a lot. Already at the bot lane, a lot of harassment actually coming out, and... Yes. An arrow actually does fly out of Sammy Girl, and Brain Sap actually gonna get taken first for for eye drops. So yeah, it's gonna be gonna be some harass. Yeah. Uh oh, bum fights in trouble maybe. Timber saw, got another Q. Is he gonna use it? Yeah. Is he gonna cut down all these trees? How sad can he make this tree and protector this game? That's the question. I mean, I would imagine very. I mean, I, I could only imagine that he would not be too too delighted. You'd assume so. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like I mean I mean at least tree protection should be happy. There's not a lot of fire on the on the dire side right now. Okay. That's fair. But at the same there's time, there's water though. No, there's okay. There's water, <laughs> but at the same time though, you got a crazy guy. You got a crazy little goblin with a buzzsaw. I mean, I don't know exactly sure. how delightful you could be about it, especially how he's paranoid about the trees being against him. I mean, I guess it's rightfully so, the tree of protectors in this game, but... This is this is the most canon game. A lot of ever slows, ever. a lot of damage actually coming on to eye drops, actually. It looks like he just might be dropping down. As, Ooh, I mean, Murana's trying to do as much harassment as he can, but it does look like it's going to be enough, and Bice is going to be able to pick up first blood with a very nice smack to the face. Ooh, it's lane thunk. Meanwhile, over at the top lane, bump fight. He's gonna eat a impale, but doesn't look like it's gonna be enough. And Salve so is gonna be used up. So ogre's farming in this lane. Yeah, it's a position three ogre. It's a position one ogre. Oh, well, no, okay. I it's feel safe lane. <laughs> well, safe lane. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. It's a position one ogre. But I feel like <laughs> Weaver is natural. Well, actually, holy crap, he actually has more more last hits than Weaver. So this, okay, then we have a position one over. <laughs> I stand corrected. Evan would be so happy. Oh yes, he would be. Uh oh. And oh why? Already, oh, actually, yeah. he's getting aggressive. He's actually getting into the face of eye drops, just not even afraid of all these arrows, all this harassment, actually. He's not even afraid. Yeah, dude, those thunks are real. Yeah. Um, I mean, not to mention, I mean, 28 strength on, o on, 28 strength on Ogre Magi is definitely a lot of uh, health HP. I mean, 700 health at level 2, level 3, it's definitely not, yeah. something, not something to scoff at at all. Oh, and this E.T. He hits for a lot. They gotta be careful, Marz. Oh, man. Those thunks turn into dunks when he gets that creep wave into it. Yeah. It's uh, rather concerning, and I think it'll be a lot more... I mean, it'll be definitely a lot more scary uh, once uh, he starts getting more levels into Bloodlust, more levels into Ignite. They're gonna be able to combo a lot more abilities actually into this lane between the stomps and such.
but I mean, interestingly enough, though, it does look like all three cores, though, on Pretty Boy Swag, they're all doing fairly well right now. I mean, they're yeah. very, they're sitting very happy with their lives right now. 15 last hits, 14 last hits. Yeah, everything's looking yeah. pretty even. Yeah, Bane, though, is going to pick up a haste. TP is going to come down into the mid lane. We're going to have our Nyx Assassin actually venture over with the smoke. Yeah. It looks like they might be trying to set up a play onto Gunner. Yep. He's level 5. It's the time. Yep. I mean, he doesn't Orphan have... just salved. And he it knows. does look like Triumph Protector, yep. They know they, they have an idea of something fishy is going on. Triumph Protector is going to also TP over here as well, so... And At least they're going to see him now, yeah. so... Yep, they're going to reveal themselves. Doesn't look like anything's really going to be going down. Actually, they saw Nyx the whole time. Oh, yeah, you know what? That ward is still there, and they're actually going to completely turn on the Nyx Assassin, and he's a little bit isolated. He's a little bit on his own. He's going to get a pretty good eye impale to try to save himself, and he might be able to limp away with his creepy crawly legs. Um, runes are about to spawn, and here comes the Nightmare into the arrow. Starfall's going to drop as well, and Vice, he just might be able to make it out with his life, and oh, the Fireball, oh, the actually! Wave. They might be able to turn it around onto him, and... Marana is just going to completely drop by the thunk, and Robot Vice, he's coming in. He's trying oh, to come guy. back for more, though, but he's going to be paying for it with his life. Uh, a little bit too aggressive. Um, didn't count on that Brain Sap coming in. Um, but Eye Drops, though, getting baited by Sammy Girl. Uh, we do have uh, both Trian and Marana joining into the fight, and now they're deciding on a little bit of a truce, so they're going to be separating just a little bit. It's a break. They're taking a break. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're they're still dating. It's just they're taking a little break right now. Yeah. I mean, they're just trying to see what they can do, see some other people, um, you know, j just do a little bit of experimentation, which never works Ooh. out, by the way. Ooh, whoa! <laughs> I mean, that never works out. I mean, when All a girl right, let's let's dive away from your personal <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. You can cry, cry to me, cry to me post game. <laughs> double, double damage rune gonna be spawning and a uh, train is gonna be picking it up. And Oof. ZR doing a lot of damage, actually, onto Gunner. Just doing a ridiculous amount of harass, and he has definitely been coming out of this lane very well. 16 denies, actually, uh, looking into it right now. So, uh, Storm Spirit definitely not feeling w very happy at all with this scenario. My question here is, who thought that... <laughs> 98 and, oh, base damage is a good Waveform is moving forward right now. Bump fight in a really bad situation, and down he goes with a little water jet. You know, you'd think trees would like water, but I guess when they're shot at a very uh, high pressure, it's not very enjoyable. The, the water's being shot at, like, Mach 1. It's just yep. Insane. Nightmare right. coming out over onto the Storm Spear. He doesn't really have a lot of mana. Out comes the Impale, and zap, zap, and there comes the Geyser once again. Uh, Tree Protector not able to save his core. And that is rather unfortunate. And another kill for our Morphling. And oh man. This Morphling has triple Wraith bands. That's why he's last hitting everything. <laughs> I this mean. This guy is doing like 113 damage. I mean, Crash, you have 10 fingers, uh, or Morphling is water. He can morph as many fingers as he wants, so he can wear all the rings he wants, dude. So, I mean, three I feel wraith like a bands. wraith band looks more like a mask. I never saw it as a ring. Yeah, but moving on though, nightmare onto Sammy boy, and out comes the impale. Is it going to be enough though? Time lapse is going to be able to get used, and we might have to turn around. Sammy's going to be here as well as Robot Vice, and out comes the Echo Stop. They're onto uh, eye drops right now. Down he goes. Reborns. He's going to try to see what he can do to run away. He's actually going to stay into the fight, but I don't know if that might be the best idea. Yeah. Sammy, he's fine. They used all their abilities on a. Uh... On everyone else. No. He's pretty tanky, so. Pretty tanky indeed. Thunk away, my friends. Yeah. Thunk away. And that turnaround. Beautiful rotations coming out from Vendetta. So that was definitely what they needed. Very well time lamps. Kind of, kind of like what we were talking about, though, during the drafting phase. I mean, if you're not too careful and you can't line everything up, though, um, that time lamps is definitely going to be able to save, save, uh, save that Weaver. So. Yeah. Weaver now, meanwhile, is bottom. Yep. But both supports the, are going to be able arrow. to spot each other out. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. That Sentry Ward. That arrow is going to be danger. Yeah, yeah that's a good Sentry Ward too. Yep, they're definitely going to be able to spot out bump fight. 
They don't know what's too good for him, though. Yeah, how about this train right there? He is yeah. Yeah. Ogre Magi, he's gonna get cut down. And oh, Ryu! What a play! Right before that Echo Stumps gets done, very confident plays all around. Gonna Arrow's take, gonna fly. Gonna arrow? No, he's no. not gonna take the arrow. Bug Fight's gonna have to face eat that. A very nice double hit with that impale. And oh, old white. Trying to, trying to see what he can do with some cheeky carapace plays. Out comes the very well-timed time slaps. He's going to be able to pick up one. Sammy Girl's going to be TPing in. Out comes the Fire Blast. And he is going to try to do everything he can. Nightmare is going to be used in a double TP, though, coming out from the supports. Arrow just barely <laughs> missing Sammy Girl. And with two leaps, Murata might be able, is, should be able to make it out of this situation alive and well. But, ugh. I mean, Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Gunner is going to start going on to XR, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out way too well as uh, Morphing Strength is a good ability to have. It's so good. <laughs> it's too good of an ability, man. Yep. Yes, indeedy. And Midnight Pulse is going to get used. Trying to see what he could do to save Old White. He's getting a little too aggressive for his own good. But, you know, he sees people coming in. And so he, he knows his place in this world. So, Yeah, that was Midnight Pulse. I mean, not Midnight Pulse. <laughs> Moonlight Shadow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Zero is going to find a walking tree. Out comes the geyser and down it drops. So. Godly. Enigma's not in this game. Oh man, oh man. And, you know, looking into the net worth charts, I mean, uh, Pretty Boy Swag, they are definitely feeling happy about this situation. Marana actually taking a good amount of damage from Sammy Boy. Sammy Boy going way deep into the, into the fire. Gunner's gonna be coming in as well. Trying to see what he can do to get TP Ooh. out, but no, Sammy Boy's gonna be able to track him down. Uh, Ryu Bruce, uh, he's gonna try to see what he can do. Vice is gonna be coming up as well with that with that ethereals trying to see what they can do to track him down maybe see if they can lock him, lock him down but he's got that chain but no he's actually gonna get stomped doesn't look like that they're gonna be able to commit enough damage into it though so moving on moving along same old boy trying to see what he can do to get a little aggressive echo stomp's gonna come down Not gonna get, not gonna be able to connect or anything. Um, wait. Crash. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Aquila Band doesn't stack, does it? Aquila Band, yeah. The aura stacks. The aura doesn't oh. stack, but the damage stacks and the the regen stacks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like the stats stack. Okay, the stats stack, but. Oh, okay, but moving on to the top lane, the Vice is gonna get nightmared into a. Uh, it... Into a star fall, and he's gonna get taken down though. But they will be able to pick up a cross kill though. Onto I drops ZR though. He's gonna pick up another kill onto this tree. And this tree and he's he's need to get like it's like an old tree or something like that at this point. All this high pressure water is definitely not good for him. Sammy boy going deep into the fire. He's gonna take a lot of damage as a result of it. His time lapse is actually not is actually still on cooldown, so he needs to be very careful about that. And, you know, Marana's actually sitting pretty low herself, so both sides of this engagement need to be a little bit more careful, though. This Moonlight Shadow, they might be able to spot out uh, the Tramp, but not before Tramp is going to be able to spot him out. But no, the reason why I was asking is because ZR actually has three Aquila Bands. I noticed. <laughs> um, I mean, fresh strats, I guess. I mean, I, I feel like I would rather uh, start going towards a uh, Manta or something, but he's you know going, though, He's going bots. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, very interestingly enough, he is going to be able to spot Gunner. Is he going to be able to do anything about it? He's sitting here in his invis rune. Uh, going to try to see. He might be able to burst him before Gunner knows what's going on. Yep. Into the mid lane. Talking about bursting. Sammy Boy is actually going to get bursted down between the impale and the, and the, uh, sacred arrow. So, oh, and actually here it is right now. Um, Gunner's going to try to jump in, but little does he know, there's a little bit of a trap there, but no, Old White, though, he doesn't have enough mana to do anything, and as a result, Gunner's going to be able to just completely zip away, Sacred Arrow's going to fly out, but it doesn't look like it's going to be able to connect at all. So, close but no cigar. Yeah, that is, uh, rather close, the, uh, you know, the, the three Aquila bands, I mean, it's a, it's a bold move, Cotton, and uh, we'll definitely have to see how it plays out in the end. I mean, going straight into a bot as well. ZR is actually going to get caught out. He's going to try to morph strength as fast as he can, actually, sitting at about 2,300 health. 
And he's just going to be able to walk and limp away. And whoa, look at that shoot shot, though. He is going to still drop, though, in the end. Doesn't matter how much health that you have. When you got four meaty dudes just pounding onto you, I mean, you're still just going to go Pardon? down. So what? 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 <laughs> what? I, I, I said nothing. <laughs> right. I, I said nothing. <laughs> Okay. Uh, TP's coming out. Uh, top tower under a pretty good amount of pressure. Old White, he's going to be in his vendetta right now. They might be able to spot out Sammy drops, and it does look like that they will. And actually, and here it comes. But no, I drops just gets completely annihilated in just a matter of seconds. Um, and we have most of Team Vendetta. They're just hunting people down into this into this jungle. Um, Timber saw he's doing a very good job tracking down this tree. The tree is going to get completely dropped by the Marana, but here comes the turnaround. Here comes ZR. He's going to come in. Time lapse is going to get used. They're going to try to do whatever they can to chase him down, but it does look like that they have just enough vision just yet. Moonlight Shadow is going to get used just while they try to chase him down, I guess, but it doesn't look like that they're going to chase very far at all. And meanwhile, looking on the other side of the map, Sammy Girl, he, uh, he or she, however they identify as he's got, uh, They've got a Netherlands, the, the, the double-headed Ogre Magoo. I wonder what Ogre identifies as. That's a good question. Uh, I mean, he he identifies as a two-headed, um, many-strength um, dude. Or oh. dudette. <laughs> Stupendous. An outright thunker, if you will. <laughs> there we go. Um, midnight... Nightmare into an arrow, but too many zip zaps coming out of this gunner. Uh, there is going to be a vendetta. Uh, vendetta it out. Out comes the impale. Here comes the leap. Starfall. Sammy Girl going to come in. Try to see if he can get this turnaround onto the Marana. One leap left remaining, though, but it does look like that. They're just, you know, they just say, you know, now is not the time. You know, we're in, we're out. It's it's like a Katy Perry song at this point. It's, it's okay. definitely not good. It's... <laughs> It's like a Katy Perry song. It's not good. <laughs> there was a perfect reference in there just from saying hot and cold in and out. <laughs> oh, it's not good. All right. Sure. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> sure. Holding that one against you, Pocket. Oh, I, I don't blame yes, you at all. Perry. That was terrible. That, no, that was terrible. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I feel bad about that. And actually, you know what, though? Out comes Zip Zet, though, from Gun Earth. They are going to be able to lock down a good amount of damage. Here comes the Split Earth onto Rio. Is it going to be enough? It does look like it is going to be. Old White, he's coming in. He might be regretting his decision right now. He's going to get completely gone on under the Sentry Tower. It might be able to be enough to save him, but no, it's not. And ZR, he's going to be forced to waveform out as well. He need better... He, honestly, he better start Morphin Strength right now before he just gets taken down as well. And Sammy Boy, he's going deep into the fire as well. And out comes the rest of the team. The zip from Gunner. Out comes the pull. And oh, the overgrowth. You're not going anywhere. Ryan Borus, he's TP back into the fight. He wants to play just a little bit. And he's going to be tower hugging. He's going to be hugging this tower pretty well. Sammy Boy getting a little too aggressive. He's going to be moving away. And Ryan Borus, he's moving in right now and trying to see what he can do to chase. But it doesn't look like that buzzsaw is going to be connecting. Meanwhile, onto the bottom lane. Marana actually was able to successfully take down that bottom lane tower. He's going to try to see what he can do to TP out. And that Nightmare is going to be able to secure it. However, eye drops. He might be paying for it, though, with his life. Out comes the Moonlight Shadow. Does look like he's not going to be, able to be far enough to be able to get it to connect. Dust is going to come out. And down he goes in just a moment. Weaver on a mega kill three. That's not something you want to see. No, that is definitely not something that you want to see at all. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Timur saw a bloodstone charge now. They did kill him as soon as they got him, so he only has nine charges now. Yeah. Triant, meanwhile, though, is in waiting, looking for him. This Triant, very sad boy. Yeah. Currently, Triants are not, no, trees are not so good with motion, as you can tell. Trian, no boots yet. He's still working on them. I mean, it's a tree. Uh, I mean, you, one wouldn't expect a tree to move at all, though. That's fair. I see your point. <laughs> actually, going really aggressive onto Robot Fice, and he's just going to get completely nuked out, actually, right under his tower. All the trees are going to get buzzed down as well, and Trian Protector not even able to move anywhere safely to be able to help his friends. You have the Sentry Ward right here as well, and things are just definitely looking bad. Marana was able to get taken down by Gunner into the mid lane. 
So at least they were able to get a pretty good counter kill. Glyph is going to get used. Sammy Girl, he's going to be TPing in. But no, the amount of damage, though, that has just come out. TPing straight into the trees. Definitely not a good idea. And all oh, the Sentry Ward doing a phenomenal job. Uh, they were able to get it caught out, but it does look like it was enough as there was a time lapse going to be used. But no, the waveform, is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. And they are back I, onto it. I just want you to just take a look at the map for a second. The amount of Sentry Wards. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There was just three mid lane. Like in the three places I'm circling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, they're uh, like. I mean, if one doesn't do it, I mean, th I mean, three should definitely be doing it. Lots of damage actually going on to Gunner. It will be enough to take him down. And the tree, he is going to be dropped as well. It does look like Cotton that this uh, three Aquila play has definitely played off. I would love to see it a meme as he toggles one but untoggles two or vice versa. That would be pretty funny to see, to be honest. But um, that's just me. <laughs> um, but uh, this uh, three Aquila play with going straight into bots. Then into a Lincoln, so it definitely looks like it is paying off for him as it is feeding him a ludicrous amount of stats. He's actually sitting at over 150 agility and not even sweating at all. Uh, he's doing a lot of damage, almost 200 damage per auto attack. So. There's a DD rune bottom. Yeah. You know, for as much crap as you gave me earlier, Crash, this position one ogre has definitely not uh, not been building like a position one ogre. <laughs> oh, no, he's definitely not a position one. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then you were going to say, oh, no, he's a position one ogre. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but, oh, oh, man. Vayne's in the wrong neighborhood. Gunner going to pick up the kill. As Vayne falls down, LSDI drops. Oh, Seeing some things, man. clearly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's what happens when, was, uh, you know, it's late at night, you're going shopping, you know, you just venture oh into God. the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> venture into the wrong neighborhood, try to pick up some groceries, you know, and it just doesn't exactly pan out when you got trees with eyes that move around and they might be rooting oh, you in yeah. place. But, I mean, you know that. what, though? They're able to get a counter kill, um, spot out that tree and get get some revenge. I mean, who knows? I mean, all this paranoia coming out from Timber Saw is uh, rightfully justified. It is. No, it, it, it is. And Yules on the Ogre Magoo. And down he goes with <laughs> with a geyser shot all the way out from very long range. And CR is looking very happy with that double kill. And, you know, down goes this tier 2 tower. And it doesn't look like Vendetta is going to be able to do a lot about it. Smoke is actually going to get used as well. They're going to try to see what they can do to rotate around. Storm Spirit, he's going to be co he's going to be cutting the wave. Um, just to try to buy Sammy Boy some time to be able to take this tower down. But no, ZR is a little bit too little too fast for this. As the rest of the team... But no! Oh my god! Gunner actually got caught while he tried to TP into his top shrine by this rotation. And as a result, he's going to get taken down. Sammy Boy, he's going to be forced to TP out as well as he knows the rest of... It's pretty swag, boys. You know, they're looking pretty swagging right now as they all grouped up together. And they're just getting buffed. I hate that you use the word pretty swaggin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how you uh, how you young and uh, start saying things nowadays. Oh, God. <laughs> Am I Ooh, using it right? <laughs> Am I using this word right? <laughs> yes, Grandpa Pocket. He's <laughs> asleep on the weavers. The arrow nowhere in sight though. But oh my God! Once he's there, now he's not tree protector. Now with the Yules. Weaver, can he do anything? Oh, the Carapus catches him, and there he goes! He falls! Marana, thanks for the time. We're gonna pick up the kill on that offensive tip from ZR. Uh oh, here comes Gunner. They're doing a lot of damage, and there he goes! Down! The Sleeper catches him, so the Storm's gonna go in. He's gonna be zip zapped off, and everyone! The arrow, it does connect, so... so oh, oh, what? Everyone slept! <laughs> no one oh. wants to go anywhere. Storm has slept, Elder Titan stunned, and Marana's mean... the one to get out safely. I mean, you win a big fight like that. I guess they deserve a nap. I mean, Gunner of all people definitely deserved it with the amount of zips that he just did just then. I mean, I don't know about you. I mean, that was a seems well pretty nap. tiring. That's fair. That's um, a reasonable. I mean, that, that was a pretty well-deserved nap. Okay, I'll take that. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, and it's all. I mean, only one person's allowed to take a nap. So I mean, you gotta share the love. That's true. Yep, Gunner's going for uh, Gun Gunner's going for that BKB. Very well needed, especially with the amount of disables that we have here. Um. And, you know, no no meteor hammers, actually, that we've seen so far as well, interestingly enough. 
Well, Tree and Protector or Nyx are going to be the ones that are going to get it, but Nyx, is it... Nyx either is going to get it first or, like, fourth. Well, I feel like Elder Titan also wants to get a Meteor Hammer. We could also want a Meteor Hammer as well. Yeah. But Spirit Vessel, more fling, yep. you know. They're going to be pinging out. They're going to be pinging out uh, Ryo over here, it looks like, and... They might be trying to go on, moving on with this. Uh, we do have a pretty good migration of Vendetta players over here, and they do, in fact, move in herds. Um, I mean, they're just going to be hanging out, trying to see what they could do to set up a trap. Um, but there's... Well, speaking of the trap, mid lane, they've smoked up. And they are going to be moving up towards the east side, and well, the west side, but... They're moving. Uh, out comes the Moonlight Shadow, but oh, the Sentry Ward, though, very well placed. It is going to be able to spot people out, but... And th out comes the Bloodlust. They're going to try to run away, but out comes the Arrow, and oh no, Vice is going to get hit by that. The Ward comes out. Sammy Girl's going to start getting chased down as well. He's moving way far back, but no! Gunner, he's going to come in! He's just going to absolutely zip. Zap goes, says nope, and actually get out of there. Sammy Boy's just going to get absolutely dropped down as well. And they're, you know, pretty swag boys. They're just going to be moving on, and... They're, they're, ha they're really happy with that team fight right there. Picking up two fights, and Gunner, he's coming oh. in. Trying to see what he can do to snipe down ZR, though, especially while he has so much agility morph. A little bit more bouncing. Oh, no, he's going to get caught up, but no! Bump fight! He might be able to turn this around. Out comes the Overgrowth, and here comes the Marana. She's going to be leaping in with the arrow, with the stunts. Is it going to be enough? But no, Gunner says no, as he's going to be slowly seeping away. Bottle charges are going to be able to help him get away, but no, the bus sauce coming in. Is it going to be got enough? It. He doesn't have a TP. <laughs> he doesn't have a TP. Enough for another 60 seconds. The zip, the zaps, oh. the jukes. Is it going to be enough? Oh. He still has a TP. But no, he didn't actually. No, sorry. That is a my bad thing. The Yules is going to get used. Oh. And oh, that comes to deny all of that. But no. Hey, you know what? That's what space created looks like, Pocket. Yeah. Yeah, space created indeed. <laughs> He did save their T2 tower, technically. Yeah, no, this is uh, definitely true. This is definitely true. Um, Old White, I mean, we're getting some Jaws vibes here. Old White, he's definitely uh, showing things right now. He spotted two for Ryu. Um, they're, they're moving over. And and out comes the, the surprise, though. Onto Sammy Girl. He's going to get gone on. And uh, Zip Zap, a four step into a Yule. He's not going to be able to save himself, unfortunately. <laughs> All that fancy play, but uh, it doesn't look like he was able to get away. It's, it's kind of hard to juke through trees when you got a guy that's cutting them down. Yeah. Yeah, it's awkward because you got to, with Timbersaw, you got to juke him and the trees. Yeah. As well as not rely on the trees, as well as not get blocked by the trees. Yep. Yes, indeedy. Uh, Sammy Boy going on to ZR, trying to see what he can do. We do have a zip, though, coming in. High drops in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's going to get completely gone on and completely taken down, actually. Um, yeah, they're they're not happy with that death, and they're just pulling back over to the tower. Pretty Boy and Sammy Boy. There's a lot of boys on this team. Ooh, he's a pretty boy. <laughs> Pretty boy, Sammy boy, a uh, pretty good ignite. Uh, uh, impale coming down, and the overgrowth that's gonna lock down ZR into place. He's gonna go down. Old White, he's gonna dro get dropped as well. Marana decides, no, I'm just gonna keep farming this jungle. I don't want any part of that. The BM, the the uh, respectable tips coming down. They're friends. They're friends tipping friends. I mean, uh, have friends nothing to do with the kills. Friends, but no, no, absolutely not. No, they just want to help each other. Uh, Buy more things on Dota yeah, Plus. Yeah, exactly. Dota, Brought Dota, to you Dota, by Dota, Valve's Dota, Dota 2 exactly. Plus. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, mid. Oh, no, the lockdown. No, not able to not able to chain away. Gunner TPing in, zipping in. Now comes the R splitter, and down he goes. And no, getting the tie at the very last second. I drops, he's going to get completely gone on zip step, and down he goes. The magic wand just might be able to save him just for a little bit longer, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough in the end. Gunner says no. <laughs> I mean, he's probably wearing a pair of gunners as well, looking at how that's spelled. <laughs> that's I mean, pay, I mean, pay to win. Dota confirmed. Um, Sentry Ward actually gonna get popped down, and out comes Old White, and immediately getting nuked down. That is absolutely insane. The just sheer amount of burst damage coming out of Vendetta. I mean, you know, we don't need uh, we don't need uh, we don't need a uh, Nyx for Vendetta. Um, I mean, I mean, our team name is just naturally bursty. It's interesting. It's a good correlation. I didn't really think of that before. <laughs> and uh, 16 stacks of uh, 16 stacks of bloodstone on this 
on the Storm Spirit, which, you know, considering after he just died, that's a pretty fair amount. Yeah. But, yeah, that's really, really good. But uh, moving on, I mean, it does look like that, you know, Sammy Boy, he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty decently farmed. Uh, he's got his Dragon Lance, giving him a little bit of range. He's now a ranged hero uh, with the Diffusal Blade. He's going to be going for that MKB, so he's looking to do a lot, a lot of damage. Um... Yeah, um, we have Elder Titan, he's going for his Solar Crest. And, hey, our tree is finally getting Tranquil Boots! Smoke and Moonlight hey! Shadow gonna be used, uh, Sammy Girl's gonna be TPing out, though, but they are... I, I mean, hold on. Sammy Girl <laughs> and Sammy Boy! I only just realized this now! Sammy Girl Wait, what? <laughs> Yes! Ogre and Sammy Girl and Weaver and Sammy Boy! I feel so dumb! <laughs> My gosh, that's why we've been so confused. Also... Sir Pocket, you've lied to me. Tree Protector does not have Tranquil. He's about to get them! What do you mean? He's 350 gold away! No, he's 250! Do some math! What did I say? You said 350! The yeah. Ring of Hell doesn't even 350 gold! Bug Fight's gonna get gone him, but he's gonna be able to slowly slink away as odd as it is for Tree. Okay. I need you to be- I, I want you to be aware of something. So look at the sentry ward here. Okay. And look how close it is to this one. <laughs> in the- uh, so in the two days that I've casted four games, I have seen oh. this happen over 40 times. Like, over like- Oh my times. god, some Samel level play cell coming in though from Gunner with the amount of sheer confidence of this man. He's zipping in, he's zapping in. It does look like that that triple Aquila play is no longer paying off into the main game as Gunner is going in full force. He may be out of mana, but he's not fresh out of vengeance as he's about to get another kill on LSDIs. After there, he's done get playing a ring around the Rosie. I mean, I didn't pay for a ticket on this circus, but you know what, though? It it's not seems for vendetta. like, uh. It's yeah, I mean, V is. Yeah, exactly. V is now for vengeance. <laughs> As, um, now they're gonna be taking down this Roche. <laughs> that 7k gold lead slowly slipping away at the hands of Gunner. Yeah, um... Now, top of the net worth chart. It's Gunner, all three cores on the other team. And yeah. then Weaver Ogre. Yeah. He's got it! Woo! <laughs> Tranquil Boots completed! Yes! Our, our our big tree man has finally got his boots. Out of context, this is very weird, and I can only imagine... To be fair, he's 0 and 9. And this is oh, a sad tree. No, a very sad tree indeed, as now he's found his worst enemy is a crazy guy with a buzzsaw. He might be able to completely juke him up, but no, before he can even go and fizz, the trees are just going to get completely cut down. And all the attention right now, and down he goes. <laughs> and meanwhile, though, but you know, the space created, they're going for this tier 2 tower, but not before the glyph goes down. And the rest of, of, Ven of Vendetta, they're going to be TPing out over and towards the mid, towards the base. Yeah, let's get out of here. And oh, Past man. Past their curfew, and they're in Compton buying bread. I mean, how can you say past curfew? It's daytime! No, well, I mean, like, that depends on where you are. What are- where are we in? Where, are we in Australia? Well... At last time I checked, this was NA Dota. Well... This was NA Dota where the parties go way beyond midnight. That's true. This is- you know, the parties go way beyond midnight. You're playing music all the way through. You're blasting music. The cops are coming, but you know, though, Sammy girl, he's not feeling way too good at all at the moment. The turnaround, oh, it's the not arrow. gonna go at all. The oh arrow God, actually stunning so by- and the arrowed the Elder Titan mid stomp. Oh man, they're oh, able to secure that, this It would have turned. It would have turned that it, fight too. Mono would have been the only one. Oh, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Just phenomenal plays coming out of both sides here. The Marana has a Mjolnir and a BKB. Looks like Ethblade, and it looks to be completed by the Morphling. He's gonna get an Invis rune right now. Weaver, meanwhile, gonna turn his attention to his BKB. He's got an MKB already, which is really and, interesting. Oh, Gunner just picked up his Orchid Malevolence as well. Oof. So this is uh, definitely not feeling good. You know, no. if, if he actually gets the jump on a ZR fast enough, he actually might be able to just completely silence him out before he can even start morphing. Yeah. 
That's the thing. If he can, it's great. If he can't, then it's. Eh. I mean, it's still pretty good though because he's not gonna be able to waveform out or anything. Um, That's true. And overgrowth. It's actually not gonna be able to connect. And out comes the dust. And a double Ooh, stun. Actually, ball. very yeah. nice. And oh, oh man, arrow's gonna fly out. Not gonna be able to connect. But here comes Sammy Girl though from the back lines. And no, got him from downtown. He's zipping in. He's just doing everything he can. Silence is gonna come out. They're gonna find Murata. She's gonna try to see if she can leap away. But no, the amount of lockdown, the amount of aggression from Gunner, absolutely gonna be able to rip and tear her apart. Just Sammy a one, Sammy all. Let's all do the Sammy call. <laughs> the next assassin does a pause. And, and the party horn. Pulls out that party horn. Five minutes disconnected. Wow. Okay. And oh, geez, Louise. Oh, geez, Louise is right. So, all right, you know, let's look at the items. So, <laughs> Morflick, Morflick, right now, he's uh, he's trying to get his shotgun going on. He, um, he's completely dropped one Aquila blade. He's decided no, three's too much. We need two. He's trying to get it calculated down. He's he's trying to get the exact calculation. Um, Old White, he's not going for anything right now. On, um, let's see, what do we have here? We got Gunner. He's going. For his Shivas, Vice is going for a BKB after his Solar Quest has been acquired. Uh, Trim Protector, no items. He's a he's a feels bad position five right now. Uh, Sammy Girls picked up his Aghanim sector, his or her Aghanim sector. It's theirs. <laughs> it's theirs. <Ow>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ogre Magoo though, going for that pipe, and you know Weaver is actually about to catch out. ZR, but I don't know. Um, I mean, the the double fireball though would help for sure though for this Lincoln's. So yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this will be fairly interesting. Um, especially because you have the other two supports from Vendetta. They're gonna be running up as well. Double damage rune. Um, in the top lane, I would feel concerned as I'm pretty sure Gunner will be bottling that up once he gets that spotted. Looking at the dead people right now. Um, Bane, no items wanted. Um, Marana, you know, Mjolnir is not going to do a lot in the backpack, but, I mean, I guess he just took that away from... I mean, he, he took it away from Yeah, Thor. I've got nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's no Winter's Curse. Um... You know, he just bought it. Let's just say he just bought it outright. He was no, that rich at one uh, point I'm in time. Sure it was for a, t a quick TP, a cheeky TP. Uh, uh, probably, probably, but. And uh, looking at our crazy, insane uh, buzzsaw man, um, Embersaw. He's going for. He's going for a lotus. Lotus, lotus yeah. I had the word. I had the word, man. I had yeah, the... no, you okay? Okay, Jesus. Like Jesus, Louise, man. All right. This is just a, yeah. This is a very very interesting though. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, you know, no, you know, the uh, Atos, the Lord of Blight, has a fragment of his essence stored in the rod of Atos. Okay, if you're gonna give wow. me a tip, I'll give you a tip too. Thanks, I didn't know that. <laughs> even def even a defeat is practice for your next victory. <laughs> I get, I just get very motivational tooltips. <laughs> See, lucky you, I get like some of the most obvious things. At starting at 40 minutes, the power runes will start will spawn at both rivers. Ooh, fun stuff. Both ri river spawns. Um, hey, no, you know what here? I just got a wholesome one. Calm players almost make better decisions. I love that one. You know what? I've I've gotten that in game and I've spammed it before. I, I don't know if that works for us. We end up just screaming at each other in game. Yeah, but I don't know. Whenever I scream at you, Pocket, which is often, I'm never usually that angry. It's more for humor. Yeah, uh, I, it, it's times like that where I really wish people could be watching us because it's it's just yelling at nothing. Except that, except when you had dust that one time, you didn't use it. Okay, for the record, I'm uh -huh. retarded. Okay. <laughs> I mean, acceptance well, is the first step. Okay. Um. So. What do you think that what 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 item changes this game for Dire? Um, for anyone, for any hero. For Dire side, if I had to put an item, like one singular item, are we talking here? Just one singular? No, like oh items. I what items like on the? Okay, like let's see on ways. on Bane. I'd like to see a glimmer cape or a. Yep. Um, like a glimmer cape or a um what what's it called a netherlands okay there we go 
Oh, the cave. Well, ah! I don't think Aether ends. I mean, get more range. I mean, well, no, yeah, no, 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 you're right. No, Glimmer, matter. no, no, uh, no, only Glimmer Cape. Because it doesn't matter how far you are, Gunner's just going to chase you down. He's going to zip zap in and going to get completely Could you say killed. that he's gunning for you? Oh, yes, yes, ah! yes, indeed. <laughs> um, Let's see, for Timber, you know, I think the Lotus is definitely the play. Either that or going for the Pipe. I definitely feel like his team needs the Pipe right now at this point, especially with the amount of useful. damage. Um, for our Nyx Assassin, um, an Ags or a Blink or something would be nice. I think, I think Blink's, the, I think Blink's what he needs, but yep. I don't know. It's weird because he needs a lot of things. Yep. Like this, he's, this is a troublesome Nyx, really. Like it's like, it's just, yep. it's, it's, it's hard. And here we go into the game. Sammy Boy's going to be spotting out in ZR. Out comes the waveform and yeah, not a lot. Howdy. And that, that climactic moment, the, the tactical pause was very interesting <laughs> yeah it was full tactics of course uh, all, all tactics i mean if you think about it five minutes Ooh. but anyways <laughs> Ooh. i don't know where i was going with that mkb <laughs> uh, mkb on sammy boy um they're working he's working down slowly uh, working away at this uh mid tier two not gonna get stopped at all so yeah who wants to be the one to to run into the whole enemy <laughs> Yeah, especially with the amount of mana regen that uh, that gunner has as well. I don't think anybody wants to be running into that at all. Um, going for the runes. Vice is coming down over into the bot lane. He's not going to be able to spot out the storm spear, but you know, it's okay. It's okay entirely. It looks like other titan. Just gonna farm the wave. Yep. Having some fun, thunking some creeps, getting some farm. Yep. Um, ZR trying to do everything that he can to, uh, farm up that ethereal blade as fast as he can. Uh, so, I mean, they definitely need it. Moonlight Shadow is going to get used. Uh, they're going to try to see what they can do to get on the Sammy Boy. There's no Lincoln Sphere or anything, so they, it they see them, though. They see them. Yep. Yeah. There's the ward there that sees the Marana. There's the sentry here. Yep, yeah, they're able to spot everything, and there might on. be a turnaround. Here comes Gunner, though, out Ooh. from the shrine. It does look like Ethereal Play just might be able to save him. Sammy Boy was actually being held by Fing Script, but no, Zero's going to get completely dropped. And Gunner, he's going full man mode. Out he goes. It doesn't matter how many leaps you have, Marana, because you know what's going to happen. Gunner has way more mana than you do of leaps, and down he goes. And Gunner is sitting very godlike right now. And fully aggressive, but no, I oppose. I don't want to come here. In this neighborhood, this I immediately regret my decision. This Lotus Orb, it doesn't oh look God. like it was at anywhere remotely enough to be able to save him. And Gunner, right now, actually does look like that the Aegis was used as well, and that's why he's still sitting at full health. But oh, the jump on a walled white! Are you kidding me right now? The amount of clairvoyance on this man, and he's just gonna get completely taken down by Sammy Boy. And outwards comes the march, they're gonna start knocking onto the front door of Team Pretty Swag Boys. So, uh, Fire Blast, Unrefined Fire Blast is right now doing 275 damage. 292 damage, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> and that's how Morphling died. Oh, you're looking at how he died. Well, no, no. I'm saying that's what that's how much that, that ability does. Hover over it right now. Um, I don't have that fight recap right now. What? No, just hover over the ability. Hover over dumb. the ability. It says 275. You said 295. And hold alt. Hold alt. Oh my god. I did not know that. <laughs> I told you. I'm retarded. Leave me alone. Leave Brittany alone. I mean, I didn't know you were Britney Spears. I mean, I try to be. I mean, you don't know me. Out comes the overgrowth, right, and out comes the stump as well, but the Yules to be able to save him. Here's some pretty tricks, though, but no. I drops, though. Feeling bad. Um, out comes another overgrowth. It does look like it was able to connect onto Rio Boros, and he's going to get completely dropped as well. Earth's, Earth's sh split is going to go down. My left ear, but the amount of pressure in it, I got to rip it out. But <laughs> down goes Murano once again, and that tier 2 tower is also going to follow as well. But oh my god, look how far he's going in! He's absolutely going in the Yule Scepter. It's just going to be able to save him just momentarily, but oh! The Spike Carapace, he might be able to go, but no, they're just going to completely zip back zip forward over in uh buy back onto nyx assassin but the gg is gonna get called by eye drops well played team vendetta and we are very quickly gonna be going over into round two
Wow, that was a uh, interesting turn where the Swaggy Boys definitely had a lead there. So I think 7, 7, 8K was their max, and it just went quickly back into it. But they hit that spike. They hit that storm power spike, and it showed. Oh, and absolutely. Just from there on, it was a, it was an upper because just because they didn't have anything to deal with the storm, they yeah. didn't have like they didn't have a reliable stun, right? Like nightmare's not a stun. He's like, no. Move, yeah. Right? And like Nyx. Eh, well, well, here's it's the thing. Not that reliable of a stun. No, no. Well, see, here's the thing though. In the early game, okay, back when ZR was going crazy with the amount of rings, he was feeling like a baller. Okay. Um, they had a lot of aggression. They put a lot of pressure onto Gunnar, and as a result of it, they were able to capitalize on it, and they did shut him down for a pretty decent amount. But the moment, though, he got his Kaya, he got his Orchid, he just started snowballing completely out of control. He gets his Bloodstone, he's even more out of control. And as a result of it, he was com completely able to just take over the game um, with the amount of space he was able to cre uh, create, especially in that one moment over into the top lane, um, area where he just completely juked out the other team, only just to get faced with a deny from the Bloodstone as well on top of it all. Absolutely ridiculous. Fair enough. But, stay tuned guys, uh, we're gonna be right back, um, after this short break for these two teams for round two of Vendetta. Versus Pretty Boy Swag. Anything else to close off with, though, Crash, before uh, we go to break? Uh, that's a point for me. As I, I called Vendetta to win. Oh, 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 are we playing that game now? Are we playing? Okay, okay I see how it is. All right, I'm, all right, we're going to start a tally for the entire season. All right. Stay tuned, guys. We'll have more D Dota for you guys pretty soon.
therefore all you'll have to talk about is your own conversation. The same is true for people who think all the time. That means, when I use the word think, talking to yourself, subvocal conversation, a constant uh, chit-chat of symbols and images and talk and words inside your skull. Now, if you do that all the time, you'll find that you've nothing to think about except thinking. Just as you have to stop talking to hear what others have to say, you have to stop thinking to find out what life is about. And the moment you stop thinking, you become into immediate contact with the unspeakable world. And we are back for another, another game of wonderful NADCL. What a start to the series, actually. What a start, indeed. What a start, what a start, indeed, to this series. I mean, honestly, it's a shame it's a best of two. If this was a best of three, oh my goodness, this would just be so, so good. More Dota. More Dota, good Dota. More Dota, good Dota. And on, honestly, I love just the amount of Dota here. I know, it's like we're playing Dota. Uh, we're playing Dota? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. No, no, these guys. No, they're this all is like, how oh. I play Dota Pocket. Oh, really? I've never seen this before. It's called casting. <laughs> Okay, I didn't realize I, I didn't realize playing was another was another level of uh, casting was another level of playing. Oh, I mean, who knows? Oh, I don't know either then. <laughs> um, so now Weaver... this time, uh, pretty boy swag going to be banning the Weaver this time. <laughs> good, good choice banned from them. Yes, yes, indeedy. But. Oh man, oh man. Okay, dokie though. Necro though getting banned again. Uh, Earthshaker getting banned. Uh, Wisp getting banned. You know, same things as we said before. Pretty good bans. Uh, it does look like both sides, they are going to be uh, switching over respectively. This time, Pretty Boy Swag is going to be on the Radiant side, and Vendetta is going to be on the Dire side. Ooh, a good old switcheroo. Ah. Uh. 
the old uh, Reddit switcheroo going down into the rabbit hole. <laughs> Don't go there. Oh, God. You know, I've actually tried going there, and it wasn't until I was about 50-something links in where I was just saying, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I mean, Reddit has that effect on people. It is, uh, it's definitely strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is, um, you know, like, I don't know if it's just memes or what, but. <laughs> eh. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, one of those. Yeah. Yep. So cutting into the reserve time here, quite a bit of it as well. 107. I mean. Uh, something I've noticed is that these teams have definitely just been sitting in the think tank for a long time uh, during That's these okay. drafts. I mean, well, no, no, it's perfectly understandable, especially with how intense that that first game was. Um, that was that was phenomenal um, and highly understandable as to why these teams are thinking so long in these drafts. Because I mean, it just shows you every little hero pick counts. Because, I mean, if you thought about it, when we were first looking at the drafts earlier, you know, we completely discounted uh, Gunnar's Storm Spirit. But then look what happened. He completely flipped it around, flipped the game around very quickly. You know, the yeah, minute he I got his farm, he turned it upside down. You know, it's like an upside down cake, except... Well, my, my life got flipped turned upside down. Uh, I, I didn't realize that that was just so life impacting for you, Crash. But yeah. Well, I'll take a minute and sit right here and I'll, uh, I'll tell you. I mean, how you, how you became the Prince of Belair? Um, Blair, yeah, Blair. One person, just Blair. Uh, Belair? I said Belair. No, Blair. Oh, Blair? No, Blair? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how was she? That's my uncle. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to stop now, Pocket. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're going to stop right now. Um, Hold on. It does look like Vendetta didn't get a ban at all. They Ooh. completely timed out. Pardon me? Um, What? Interesting. I hope it was due to indecision and not because of a disconnect, because that would be really unfortunate. That would be a shame. Five um, remain. but it's just something that they're gonna have. To... You know how hard is it actually to? I really do wonder because I have seen this scenario before, especially in a battle cup. You know how difficult would it be to where in the drafting phase, if the actual um. If the picker disconnects or just has problems, how hard is it to just have it so that it moves over to the next person automatically? You know, well, not uh, that hard. To give you a quick answer, not that hard. No, and that's the thing, Volvo, please, Volvo, please, Volvo, please. You no, sounded you... so sad. I got sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I mean. I mean, come on. This is just going to make me want to go buy uh, buy an Audi or something. I don't want to buy a Volvo now. I mean, I mean, I'll buy a Volvo, but I mean, that's not the point. I was so confused. Like, oh, how are you buying it? What? Why are you buying an Audi? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so more reserved. Maybe something happened, Pocket. Have you been getting messages? Um, I mean, let me do the chat. Uh, test. No! No one hears me! The lobby's been completely disconnected. Okay. Oh, no, because Sammy Boy was supposed to have second pick. Oh, my goodness. Bamboozled! Told you. We've been bamboozled! You cast it a long time, Pocket. I know these things. Yeah, well, I mean, at least you caught on to it. At least, it's a good thing you caught on to it. So, what? hello, incorrect password. That's a false arena. I, I, I mean, oh, have you, that's I, why I did. I did. I did something instead of the other one. Are you saying a thing that just does nothing but calculate ones and zeros calculated incorrectly, my friend? No, I'm saying I was wrong. Oh, OK. OK. Actually, yeah. OK. All right. OK. But them apples. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. But, all right, so, looking into the previous game, though, uh, let's let, let's just say. So, thoughts about how both teams should be going into this game. Like, how do we feel about this? Um, ban Storm. Well, okay, besides banning Storm <laughs> Spirit, because, um, uh, like, I don't know if banning Storm Spirit is the be-all, end-all answer. It might not, but it might be. Uh, who knows? Green 
Yeah. I mean, thankfully, same band's actually rolling out very quickly, so it, yeah. we're, we'll, we'll be quickly back on track Radio here, boys, so. Band. We will be back on track fairly quickly. Uh, except this time, no, Earthshaker is going to get banned. Well, no, I think he got banned last time. He did. Yeah, it's just they flipped the pick, the pick order. That's what happened, so. Yes. So, it is a... Uh, very, very interesting. But, I mean, with both sides flipped no, now, um, I mean, Tiny gonna get banned once again by Pretty Boy Swag. So, looking at the difference, the Weaver getting banned now, I don't Radio think banning the Weaver is gonna be that impactful, and it's not gonna hurt Vendetta at no, all, one pick. bit, in my opinion. Silence. Um, oh, sounds fair. That's Radio just how I feel. Um, but oh, possible. Two very strong supports actually getting picked up on both sides, and out comes a Terra Ooh. Blade as well. Oof. Very, very interesting. Silencer's really good against Terra Blade, though. Oh yes, he is. Right before he, right before he goes down, right when he wants to hit that Sunder, and out comes the Silence. Because here's the thing, like with that, you've got to either hold on to your Manta, which makes you weaker, or like just Seconds don't remain. die. <laughs> I mean, hello darkness, my old friend. Right, like I don't. It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's weird. Yep. It's uh, gonna be rather interesting. Yes, indeedy. Rather, rather interesting. But um, once again, for any new viewers dropping in, this is the NADCL Week One. And we have Pretty Boy Swag versus Vendetta. Vendetta took round one with some phenomenal play. Uh, some very flashy, some male-like plays out of Gunner. So, definitely, definitely interesting. Uh, there is going to be a pickup of Lena uh, for Pretty Ooh. Boy Swag. So, that ought to be pretty interesting. So. Five seconds remaining. So. That's uh, rather hmm. interesting. Rather, rather interesting indeed. Bad dudes banning someone now. So what? Um, hmm. Treant getting banned as well. So Pretty Boy Swag doesn't want to see those two heroes again. I mean, the the amount of the amount of uh, haunting that timber saw has had with that tree i will guarantee you though I, I i'm pretty sure that um i mean i'm pretty sure that uh even though treant wasn't a big major factor Five seconds remaining he he did set up a good amount of kills and that lane well he also he also caused them to spend more money on sentry yeah yeah absolutely like it's it's a, it's a very little thing but yeah. like you know it's something you know, let's say, you know, you're buying a Sentry Ward every minute. Yeah. Zeus. And you get a 90 GPM talent. And then all of a sudden, you're only getting 10 GPM. Yeah. Interesting enough as well, Pretty Boy Swag. They're going to be banning uh, Ogre <laughs> Magi as well. So three heroes from previous games Wait. that they just don't want to see. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Storm Spirit ban. I, I, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I would assume they will be. Also, pardon my awful quick maths there. I just realized what I said. I'll, I'll discount it. I'll, I'll forgive you this time. Chat may not forgive Thanks. you, but I, I, mean. will, I, I will at least. So. It's all right. Life is hard. So. And then you die. <laughs> yeah, but you know, though, thankfully enough, though, Zeus is banned. I hate that hero, but I love him at the same time. Um. Earth spirit. Might uh, not be a stormy spirit. Uh, yeah, they got a spirit of some sort. I mean, here's the plan. You get a Earth Spirit, Storm Spirit, Fire Spirit. But no, there's a Centaur War Runner. Oh. Sorry. So did you just call him Fire Spirit? I said something. Storm Earth <laughs> Fire, heed my call. Um... You definitely said Fire Spirit. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll let that one slide, Pop. Oh, oh okay. Well, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I deserve that. I deserve that. Um, flame incoming. Uh, lots of. Uh, Five seconds I'm remaining. just gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, I'm going. <laughs> Alright, all right, bye, Pocket. <laughs> See you later. But 
Moving on, though. Um, ha, moving on. Centaur. Ha. He's not Wait. a cow. It's not Star Wars. <laughs> it's not Spirit Breaker. It's not Spirit Breaker. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait until the moment where we do get a spirit breaker into one of these games and I get to just yell chug yeah, a chug moo moo. That's hype. Like I just want to be able to just yell chug a chug a moo moo midcast. You need a you need a chug a chug a moo moo emo. You broke out there. <laughs> what? You broke out there. You said you need a chug a chug a moo moo and then it went blank. <laughs> oh. You need a chug a chug a moo moo emote. Oh. You know what? I'll get right on. Yeah, you will. Honestly, I I, I wouldn't be able to. I, I'm terrible at art. <laughs> I'll get I'll get one of my roommates or my girlfriend or even myself to do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah <if laughs> or could... my other any of my roommates. <laughs> okay. And then if we could do that, the one subscriber I have will have that chugga chugga moo moo. Thanks, mom. Hey, I'll subscribe. I'll subscribe to you. Alright, thanks mom and thanks, Crash. I'll have two subscribers. No problem, buddy. <laughs> well, I can do it right now. Oh my Actually, goodness. I... I'll give I'll give you my Twitch Prime one. Oh, there we go. That, that that's fine. Yeah. But 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 besides the point though, besides the point, we do have a Marana pickup. Is we do have a Marana pickup once again. Well, no, not not once again. No, it's gonna be for Team Vendetta. Four Pretty boy sweat. So I guess Vendetta's gonna say this is how it's done. We're gonna show you how it's done right now. So that'll be rather interesting. But you know. This is, uh, this is rather concerning, though. Um, I mean, looking at the lineups, it makes you wonder. Okay, so. Is this a position four TB? No, no or way. like a position three offlane TB? I mean, I don't know. Vendetta did some crazy things. I mean, they had Sammy Girl, Safe Lane, position three Ogre Magoo, so. I'm telling you, man. It's possible, yeah, it's it's possible. And, you know what? There's the hey! Ember Spirit! <laughs> Ember Spirit! <laughs> and, you know what, Crash? I will say this. That last match was actually so intense to the point to where there was just a huge amount of air pressure built up into my earbuds to where it actually hurts now for me to have my left earbud on. <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> yeah, I have to take it out just temporarily just so I can cast that. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to get a headset. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get my. I, mean, I think you, sh you should definitely have a headset. Do you wanna? Do you wanna come to Canada? I'll give you one of my. No, 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 no. I, I have gaming headsets. No, no, I have five headsets. No, I have five headsets. I just refuse to wear them just because of headset fatigue. But Morphling being banned by Vendetta, um, they're definitely afraid of that. Uh, they're afraid of the 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 three rate the three wraith ban into three Aquila play. Um, that was rather concerning for them. <laughs> it was, and a normal Huskar band coming out from Pretty Boy Swag, as it did last game. Yep. Yep. Yes, indeed. And they are going to be picking up a Slark, actually. So Slark is, uh, Slark is a pretty good core, but no, here comes the Ooh. Monkey King, though. Very strong against the Centaur War Runner offlane, so this will be very interesting. Sammy Boy going to be on the core. Position three, I'm telling you. No, Sammy Girl <laughs> is the position three. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, now I'm just going to be confused. Darn my confusion. Oh, gee, darn it. I done it again. Oh, gosh, darn it. Darn tootin'. Oh, those, uh, those darn tootin', uh, those darn tootin' Sammies. But anyways, though, for the lineups, though, we're going to have LSDI drops on the position 5 silencer, Old White, position 4 Lena, Ryuborus on the position 3 offlaner, ZR as your Ember Spear mid laner with the Divine Rapier, as well as what it looks like from this weird angle. Slark is going to be your position 1. Um, yeah, it's the Divine Rapier. Yeah, Bumfight, he's going to be on your position 4. Well, no, position 5 once your Wyvern, Sammy Boy, position 1 Terror Blade. Robot Vice is going to be your position 4 Earth Spirits, Sammy Girl, position 3 Marana, and Gunnar, your position 2 Monkey King. Votes! Um, you know what? I'm going to have to go for Vendetta. Yeah? I'm, I'm going to um... have to go because... I'm, I'm going to have to go for Vendetta just because... 
I like the lineup a lot better, and I definitely feel like it scales into the late game way better. They have the Monkey King to buy them time during the early to mid game, and for the late game, they have the Terra Blade just to clean it all up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to agree with you. I'm going to have to give this one a vendetta. Um, I personally hate position 5 silencer. I just went on a rant, like a 2-3 to three minute rant last night about it. Oh, really? Um, during, <laughs> during an 80-12 cast, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, it's just like, he ulti- Like, what does he do in the lane? Not much. He he he, he cues, but he's really squishy. It's a nice little slow. Gosh, how many times cool. have you tried to get the courier change? So many. Why is it that so every many. every monkey king I've seen I've I've been seeing recently? And look, I'm not, they do it again. They do it again. They put the ward down right in front of each other. Interesting. But this time though, it does. You know, once again, once again, Team Vendetta is going to drop the ward down first. But. Hey, look, but you know what? The, no, they're pinging this out, though. They're pinging this spot out, so they don't know about it. Oh, no. Gunner oh, yeah, pinged no, it out wrong. Is... Oh, wow. See, look. The mind tricks now. The mind plays. Mind tricks, yeah. It's a very big factor on these uh, multiple games. Yep. You and, gotta get a... you know, bold move, Cotton. Leaving the Terrorblade alone. I mean, I, I would imagine there's going to be a TP, but... This is a rather a bold move, though, leaving, uh, well, no, you got Monk, wait, Gunner, what are you doing here? Why shouldn't you be blocking your lane? Hey, Pocket. Yo. I told you it was an offlane Terra Blade. Yeah, I don't know, like, but, <laughs> but Sammy Boy is their core player! I mean, I don't want to say what it is, but these lanes look like, make it look like it's, like, some ungodly copycat game. This is like rather strange. Let me, uh... I mean, here's the thing: like, it's a silencer Slark lane. That's not very strong. What do you mean it's not very strong? Silencer is able to bully out a lot, but you know, though, you got the Winter Wyvern though. Bully out a Metamorphosis? You got a Metamorphosis and a Look Winter this guy. Wyvern. But interestingly enough, oh, though, fuck. they're not pairing the Centaur War Runner with the Lena. Let's uh, let's definitely see how it works out for them. Close. But no! Whoa! What happened? I completely missed out on that. Sammy girl gonna be picking up the Vice. first blood kill. Vice on the Earth Spirit. He's a really good Earth Spirit, man. Oh, why didn't you call it out if you saw it? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. Abilities used. No, it looks like it was just all auto attacks. Very interesting. But no, that's impossible. He had to have. No, they called. did a roll and uh, arrow. Okay. So it's so it's Volvo messing up. Volvo, please. Yeah. But Ryu Boru's um getting a little bit too far in. He has that war stomp and Metamorphosis is down, so it doesn't look like he's too afraid of any harassment right now. Um, interestingly enough, here comes the curse. Of his, here comes curse. Even though he is taking a lot of damage, it does look like our level Ooh. 2 silencer actually might be able to help save his Centaur War Runner from being able to run away in a very nice pull as well. So. Slark's also dropping low top. Yeah. So. A lot of harassment actually coming out, and Vice looks like he's trying to get into position, trying to see what he can do to jump in. It doesn't definitely does look like it. I don't know why I have the shop open, but here comes the roll. Out comes the light strike array, and out comes the pounce out. And looks like Slark is going to be able to live to see another day. Invisible ability rune being picked up by bump fight, and out comes the harassment as well. He's going to get up into some trees. Out comes the split shot. Gunner is going to be taking out ZR in the mid lane. Barely, so, jeez. Yeah. Um, mainly now. Yeah, exactly. A wild Zeus has entered the game at level 6. Um, Lena actually taking a lot of damage. Gonna get smacked a couple times by Vice. Straight into his face, but all the body blocks. It does look like it's gonna be enough. The arrow flew out. It didn't connect. A rather unfortunate, but it's okay, though. Ryo Borus. He's, uh, he, he, you know, he actually just doesn't care about the amount of harassment that's been coming down into the, uh, coming down onto him on, on this bot lane. So... 
Moving on over into the mid lane. You know, Monkey King as well going against, you know, a team with, you know, melee cores. Like, all three cores actually are melee. Like, you know, you have Centaur melee, Slark melee, Amber Spirit melee. This is definitely not looking good. It looks like it's a good game for Monkey King, to be honest. Um, yeah. I, I can only imagine that Gunner would be having an enjoyable time. The only thing, the worst that could happen is you have a team with five melee, and then you have a real problem. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wish I knew anything about that. Oh, no, you know, like, I, I completely wish I did. Sammy Boy, though, in Metamorphosis once again. Um, does look like Silencer doesn't have any mana left available, but, you know, looking at the last hit counter, it does look like that Oof. Sammy Girl is just going to get completely dropped again. Will Vice be able to pick up a counter kill? It doesn't look like just maybe at all. Here comes the boulder roll. And he may have to pay for it, though, with his life. Trying to see what he can do. He picks up a bottle, actually. Trying to see if he can... Oh, what is this? The crit blocked him. And, oh, Vice is just going to completely roll out of here. Oh, my God. Robot Vice. Autobots roll out. Oh my wow. goodness, what a play, what a guy, oh my what a goodness. Guy. Holy moly. Oh my god, check this guy out. Check him out, do it, do it. Hit him up, Robot Vice. Yeah, twitch.tv forward slash Robot Vice. I wish I could say <laughs> the same thing false. about Sammy Girl though. Sammy, Sammy no, no! Leaves. No more leaps, Salamene was, no, not Salamene. What's her face is tired. <laughs> <laughs> Mount, mount thingy. It's it, it, it's it's not Nova, okay? It's not Nova. It's not Nova, okay? Down goes Cr. He got he dies again. Let's focus on the game here. <laughs> We're focusing on the game here, okay? You know, what? I'm gonna look it up for you. I'm gonna bring up those good Morana mount stats. Here we go. Morana mount name. Oh my God. Um, Sagan, it's Sagan. Sagan. Yeah. I remembered it already after the point was made. <laughs> and oh Ouch. man, this is actually looking really bad for ZR. Gunner's already sitting very happy at level six. He hasn't picked up his ultimate yet, but that could just spell even more trouble for ZR as a result of it. As I mean, that's just a lot more. Um, that's just a lot more damage. And oh my god, I'm just missing all these kills. <laughs> Eye drops is actually able to take down bump fight. And he's going to be able to walk away fairly quickly, fairly easily with that. As a result of it, Vice though, out comes the arrow into a leap. No Starfall just yet. Out comes the Starfall. And Vice is going to be able to silence, preventing the leap away. And he's actually on a killing spree. All right. Party, nice. horde, party horde coming out. Holy moly. And Sammy Boy coming out with the BM all lines for his buddy, Robot Vice. Or... Alternatively, he likes to do them. <laughs> Bam. There you go. No BM involved. Um, Gunner There's actually no taking a lot of damage. damage right now. Is he going to be able to come out of this alive? Ooh. He comes back out into the fray. ZR, his slot of hand is just now coming out of, off a of cooldown. He canceled the self, but Vice, he's here. He wants in on the action. Out comes the roll. Autobots roll out and down goes ZR. Gunner gets a killing spree as well. And, and then back to full health with the Q. Yeah. And this is, this is definitely uh, turning into a very, very... Dire situation for Team uh, Swag Pretty Boy, but uh, I mean, yeah, things are all looking red uh, in this scenario right now. Eye Drops is now TP'd over into the top lane tower, trying to see what they can do about it. Uh, Vice actually has completely spotted Slark. Out comes the leaf. Sammy Girl taking a lot of damage right now. He just might get taken down. The, oh, the ultimate kit. is gonna get used, but no, the silence. Are you kidding me? If Sammy Girl made it out of that, I would have just just said no and just walked out but vice no with the rolls he's gonna completely get out right now gunner decides he wants in on the action here he comes up on the tree no he doesn't he doesn't want to jump up but old white he's down here in the bot lane trying to see what he could do in terms of supporting ryu um this actually would be a little bit of a deadlier lane combination if you ask me the stun into another stun and into a lot of damage that's how dota works i mean you hit the person until their health hits zero Ooh. and then you win 
Thanks for that analysis, Pocket. Oh, oh, not a problem, not a problem. Oh. And, you know, to destroy the Ancient, the, the best plan is to group up and hit it till it dies. I don't like that. Yeah. Um, Ryo Boros, he's gonna get slowed, uh, taking a he lot of damage. He might die here with the creeps. No, he's gonna be uh, able to walk just, away just, just, just barely, but his own creeps actually did pretty much spell his demise for just a moment though but here comes vice though they want to dive right behind the tower we have one tp two uh -oh. tps ah 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 down kills bump fight and right now they are just stuck inside of enemy territories deep behind enemy lines oh and wilson's even here probably um <laughs> and you know what they're gonna be able to run out of there the u.s army with two chinooks they're able to get away from it and yeah i mean that's just I mean, that's just what happens when you got Gene Chapman helping you. I don't even rem I don't even know if that was the correct actor, but I'm rolling with it. What the hell are you talking about? I, I don't know. The movie. <laughs> the, the, the movie. Look, you know what? This courier is even confused. There's no items on the courier. Oh, yeah, well, 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 no. Well, Old White just right. puts... Old White put <laughs> items onto it. Of Ryu's. Exactly. That was rather interesting. Oh, uh, oh go man! Down. Vice can't help out, but he can't help the leader. There you go. I'm done. Oh man! Sammy girl, arrow potentially, but the creep is gonna say no to that one for now. Vice is invisible. They're gonna turn on Sammy girl. ZR is here to the root. Can the potom alt save her from that? The starfall? No, not quite. Vice has to get the heck out of there. There's a haste and ember on his tail though. And ember will stop the chase. Vice will walk out safe. Nope. Um, interestingly enough to note as well, um, I mean, Murata just kept going for it, going for the attack, though. Vice is going to be able to spot a, a friendly VR, friendly spirit, in the middle of the river. They're going to take a break, though, and they're just going to say, you know what? You wanted the rune, that's fine, you can have it. I'll give you this one. I feel like I don't want to watch anyone other than Vice. Yeah, Vice has like... definitely been making a lot of plays. Um, actually, slide a hand going on to Sammy Girl. He, he she, it, je, they're not feeling bad. Sagan tried to do a leap, but no, they're gonna get silenced, and down they go. Strike, 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 strike says Ember Spirit, as now they're gonna start moving over, and it does look like both sides are just gonna be trading towers. Gunner and Sammy Boy, they're gonna be taking down the bot tier one, or as Old White and uh, ZR, they're gonna be taking down the mid tower. I don't think they are. I uh, know, you know, it doesn't look like it, like they're, they're, going for it but they're not going for it with a good speed um yeah here oh, comes vice. vice he's coming in going straight for that old white and out comes the silences as well gunner try to get in as well but it looks like vice may have jumped the gun just a little bit he's gonna get life struck away but oh. all the stun just might be able to vice save him alive. entirely vice is still alive he almost has his ball to roll out zr is gonna oh. try to run in but oh he's moving out though out comes the remnant. He's juke and he's bobbing and weaving. Look at this. This guy's definitely had some boxing moves. Meanwhile, on the other side of the river, ZR's gonna get taken down. Gunner's gonna offensively tip Vice with his with this. This guy's ZR. Just, ZR. Sorry, Vice is taking some boxing lessons or something. He's buying all this time as Gunner is actually able to completely catch up. Out comes the stun. He's gonna slowly be able to run away though. Here comes the leader support, but no, Vice oh, decides nice. he wants more. He's gonna be able to pay for it though with his life. Gunner's gonna get taken down as well as Old Vice, Old White. He is gonna be taken double down a double kill, getting a good amount of gold. 900 gold is nothing to scoff at. Um, yeah. Sammy girl gonna be picking up a haste rune. Uh -oh. Very Wyvern. interestingly Slark. enough, though, that was a bold move, Wyvern, teeping right into the vision of Slark, but he might be able to get out of it, though. Uh -oh. Sammy Boy, Careful he's going to be now, getting though. silenced. He's stunned. He's silenced. No time for a Sunder, and down he goes. Out comes the winner's curse, though. It does look like it's going to oh be enough God. to kill Old White, but no. Out comes the arrow. Sammy Girl, he's going to leap in, but Vice, he's going to get a complete cleanup with this boulder roll. Gets right in wow. front of both members of Team Pretty Boy Swag, and down they they go one two buckle my shoe here we go zero is able to take down the mid tower as well so things are definitely looking good and you know for any uh, for any other teams that are in the season right now watching this they need to be very weary of not banning earth spirit against 
Team Vendetta because look at Vice and all of these plays. He's going to be able to lock up that kill, taking down the Emperor Spirit and showing him Earth Spirit is the best spirit. Uh oh. <laughs> and, you know, Old White, you know, trying to get a little bit over committing, oh but God. Gunner with the jukes! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, Leaping onto the tree and back on him. And you know what? Vice is still alive. And you know what? Out comes, out comes the tips as well onto Old White. Showing him, you can't touch this. Oh my God. Wow. That was a that was a that was a complete outplay too. That was a beautiful jump too. Wow. Oh, absolutely, indeed. No words for that. Um, does look like bump fight. He is gonna be able to spot out some wards though. But as a result of it though, he's gonna be able to pay for it with his life. Out comes the winner's curse, and he's gonna just completely TP you away. Not enough damage at all. Winner's curse to save your life. I'll take that trade any day. Slark's coming up right now. Vice. Once again, he's going to be TPing in. Are they going to be spotting the Slark? He's just sitting in the weights, and they're going to be baiting out Gunner. That Shadow Blade being used just in the right time, but is it going to be enough? A Sentry War did go down, but it doesn't look like that they're going to be able to spot him as he's running away. Yeah. But out comes the smoke into the mid lane. They're moving forward. ZR wasn't caught into the smoke, but you know what, though? It's okay. You got three out of five, so... Out comes the stampede and Sammy Boy under a lot of heat right now. Out comes the silence and down goes a dead Sammy Boy. Sammy Boy goes down, kills secured, and you know what? This Terra Blade is definitely not feeling good. Um, you know, picking Terra Blade into a silencer. I don't know if that was the right play to be honest. Dyer's bottom tower is not. under attack. Mm. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Hey, like I said, yeah, you know, sounds are doing too well against TP. But, uh, Radiant's top tower is under attack. Moonlight Shadow gonna be used. Out comes the com Ring of Command. Ryu Boru's in the wrong place at the wrong time as he's gonna get completely taken down. And the rest of the members of Pretty Boy Swag, they're going to be forced to just pull back as they don't want to have anything to deal with this. Vice is sitting up here in the top lane, just sitting and waiting, putting his trap card down, waiting to see if anybody comes out into the lane, trying to see if they can get some farm. And it doesn't look like anybody's going to be there, but it's okay, though. It's okay. Vice has done Do more than his trap work. That just, after you kill someone with green mines, Dyer's it's just you pop tower my trap under card. Attack. <laughs> oh, activated my trap card. Volvo, please. Volvo, please. That's what I need in my life. I need hero specific voice lines for the next TI. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? You, you know what, Crash? If we get good enough, maybe someday we can get it to uh, we can get it to the voice lines, and maybe if we just yell the same things enough, then maybe just maybe we can get it. <laughs> maybe maybe if someone listens to our incoherent screaming. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, if the star, if the stars and the planets align and cosmically, um, things go our way, um, something might happen in a hit. But smoke gang coming out, fourteen vendetta. They are gonna be able to spot out ZR and no remnant. And oh my God, so much lockdown, so much stuns. It was already over before it even started. Down he goes. They are gonna be pinging out. The Slark as well as he was spotted with that and out comes the winner's curse here comes the arrow and just all of the lockdown and down he goes as well both cores taken down and I do not foresee these two towers gonna be staying up any longer right now is yeah this was uh yeah that just the amount of uh, damage coming out is just absolutely ridiculous. And like I said, out comes Metamorphosis, and here comes the just sheer amount of damage. Glyph is going to get used. Ember Spirit is back up and running, but is it going to be enough? Um, Gunner is going to be TPing out. And it does look like that he might be able to spot a Ryo Burus. Uh, he doesn't have his Blink Dagger just yet. He almost has it, which is definitely what he wants. Um, eye drops, you know, sitting pretty poor. ZR actually was able to take down Winter Wyvern. Sacred Arrow flies out, isn't able to connect though, unfortunate for him. Gunner going for that BKB, he's about 1400 away, close enough. ZR picking up his Invis rune, gonna try to go for a little bit of hunting right now by himself, maybe, just maybe. 
Um, interestingly enough, uh, Sammy Girl going for that Yule Scepter. And Robot Flies going for a Blink Dagger now. He definitely deserves one. But, oh, what is this? Gunner, he jumps into a pretty crazy situation. Global Sun's gonna get used, but not before that Moonlight Shadow gets used to be able to save him. Robot Vice in on the action, and actually here comes Burning, like, burn, Bump Fight? Bur bur burning. Burning Bump Fight. He's gonna be coming in and out comes being able to save his teammate gonna be taken down lsd eye drops the light strike away all that damage on to sammy girl they're gonna try to go on to zero but it doesn't look like it's enough the ring of command is gonna get dropped as well and slark he's using his ultimate right now he's gonna try to see what he can do he takes down one can he get two gunner he's gonna be sitting on top of a tree and robot vice actually getting completely stuck getting hit by that light strike array he just might be able to get out he's one hit away but no Slark with a triple kill right now. Gunner trying to do everything that he can to run away, but no, the Revenant is going to be able to completely catch him, and he's going to get taken down. Everything, but everything and the kitchen sink thrown at them as they win the fight. Don't lose the Terror Blade, but a good trade nonetheless. Yep. Good 2,000 gold swing for them. Pretty good. Man. You know, and I'm looking at this robot vice. He's sitting at a two seven two ten. That is, as a position four, that is absolutely insane. He's been in more than half. He's been in more than half of the kills. And speaking of being in more than half of the kills, he's TPing in right now. Here comes the boulder roll. It's gonna connect. Here comes the body blocks. Tries to stampede away, but he's not even gonna be able to get away at all. Robot vice says, "You're in my house now." He does. Well. Figuratively speaking. <laughs> Figuratively see speaking, okay. So Slark, he's got the Shadow Blade and the Echo Saber, and now he's gonna drop the Lincoln Spear. Terror Blade looking towards the S and Y. I'm not sure this is the item for Like it's already not very good at like it's not this is not a fun team, but like not not very good. I think I think he needs the manta. Right, yeah. you want to get rid of that silence. Yeah, he definitely needs that mana. That it gets mana. rid of silence. It gets rid of root. Yeah, it can help it him. Rid of, you know. Exactly, and it helps him survive a lot overall. But yeah, I mean, we'll definitely have to see. Everybody's looking like they just want to get a Yule scepter on uh, Team Pretty Boy Swag. Which is pretty pretty interesting. Gunner gonna be jumping. Getting jumped on, actually, but n yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it looked like it was going to be something, and then it stopped immediately. And very quickly as well, Sammy Boy getting pinged out very fast. Moonlight Shadow is going to be used. It does look like a Sanjin Yasha going to be completed onto Sammy Boy. I hate it. Oh, no. See, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. With a Sanjin Yasha, you can, you can disassemble it. And build it into something else. You can. But then you've got Assange. Heaven's Halberd. <laughs> Heaven's Halberd. Stop that. I hope not. Stop the Slark from attacking. Give Why? The... I don't know. Maybe because he's too busy murdering your team. No. You want him to attack. You want him to kill you. So you can sunder him. I mean, you're Aha. not. No, but seriously, though, you. you... Okay, but what if he's attacking your team? What if he's attacking your team? He's not attacking you. He's attacking- But here's the problem. You're a carry player. You don't care about your team. Oh, well, you're not wrong. Um, speaking of which, Gunner, he's going to be leaping in right now, but- Oh, man, though. He's in a pretty bad situation, though. Out comes the Ring of Command while he's sitting in that BKB, but out comes the ultimate, though, as well. Sammy Boy, though, out from the back lines. They're going to be completely taken out. Eye drops. Out comes the Winter Curse onto the Slark. Is it going to be enough to be able to take him down? Is there an arrow to follow up? No, arrow to follow up, and down goes Slark. And here comes Vendetta in full force right now. The... The scales are now tipping back over towards the Vendetta. It looks like, and they're looking pretty hungry, and they want a Roche kill right now. Arrow's going to fly. Stun comes Roshan, and now comes the Sentry Ward as well. Three players down, four team Pretty Boy Swag, and they are completely going on to the aggressive. When you use boulders like Vice uses boulders, you don't need arrow. Yeah, um, you're not wrong, and... <laughs> And Gunner right now, he's uh, posting up into the tree, setting up a little observation post right now. 
Um, Ryu Burrows, you know, they might be spotting it right now. They do see some things. Some pings do come out, though. But it doesn't look like that it's going to be enough to contest it. Ryu Burrows, though, he's getting he's getting slowed a lot right now. Out comes the Yule Scepter. Will the arrow fly? No, it will not. Pipe is no, going to get used. Cool down. Pipe is going to get used preemptively, trying to make sure that he stays safe. And back to farming. Back to farming. So Ember is going to turn his attention towards a Radiance now. Oh, boy. Interestingly enough, that's gonna sounds be, are gonna yeah. deward. I like that the Slark is carrying around sentries with him. Oh yeah, that's a good little, nice little touch. Yeah. So I think with Aegis, so Monkey has Aegis. He's gonna go for a defusal next. I think what they do is I think they just smoke up. Huh? Yeah, that's similar to a smoke. Yeah. I mean, you save fifty dollars. I mean, economy. And Stark is actually gonna get spotted by the Sentry Ward as well. Ooh. Out comes the silence. Out comes the arrows, and down he goes immediately. Speaking of economy, there's bank for that Stark kill. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Three hundred gold going over into your position five, as well as the assist call for everybody else in that kill. Oh man. Some pretty good money. Indeed. I wish CSGO had that kind of mechanic where if you just shot a guy and if somebody else takes your kill, you, you get money too, but like a percentage. Oh my Ooh, well, god. Well, here's the problem. Dota's better. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean I'm not absolutely. saying that Dota... I'm not saying Counter-Strike Go is not better than Dota. I'm saying... <laughs> Do, no, I'm saying CSGO has things to learn from Dota. You ah. See? You see? I, I'm saying that they have things to learn from it. Yes. I think they should start by making it a MOBA. <laughs> How are you going to do a MOBA with guns? Either way, ZR under a lot of pressure now. Global Silence is going to get used to try to help his teammate out. Um, it does look like that they were just close. Sammy Boy sitting very close to low health. Says, no, I don't like you, bump fight. Out comes, oh man, out comes the Dragon Slave. And oh man, Slark is just having a ball of a time right now. He's taking down one, taking down two. Now looking for Sammy Boy. He's going through the trees. He's trying to see what he can do. Ember Spear comes out as well. Out comes the slide ahead. And they blocked him down. And down goes Sammy Boy. Winter Wyvern gonna have to cancel the TP. Radiance Courier does go down and fights. He's gonna get caught as well. Rooted down into the kill. And now he's in the ground. Gunnar, a little bit too little too close. He's gonna be able to stun up ZR, but no, is he gonna have to regret his decision? BKB coming out, Commandery coming out as well, gonna pop the shrine. Is it gonna be enough? He's just gonna, gonna try to juke around. The Slark, he is going to be jumping up, uh -oh. but no! The Yules! The turnaround into Light Strike Array, and down he goes down! The Axe is going to get popped, but no, bump fight! He's actually stuck in a fight with the Ancients! He's not going to be able to do anything, but Vice, what are you doing? What a monster, what a play! Being able to lock down that Silencer, oh my uh -oh. goodness! <laughs> After Suck. all that time limping around because of that damage, but no, the Yule's gonna be able to completely catch him down, turn around, killing down Slark, and oh my god, the fight goes one way, the fight goes another way, are you kidding me? Pay for your sins, Slark. Monkey King rotation, he, that whole time, Monkey King was top, um, he was top killing the, um, trying to kill the centaur, failed, just decided to TP in with a full Jingu stack. Oh, yeah, no, coming into the lane with a full Jingu stack was definitely the play. Yeah. <sighs> but, oh, man, oh, man. Boy, oh, boy. Um, also, Radiance acquired on the ZR. They're just waiting for the Courier, which died in the last fight, by the way. What did the uh, Courier have anything on it? It had two that? TP scrolls on it. Oh, but, the that's thing, right. but the thing is, though, is that Ember Spirit, he can't get his Radiance right now. It's in his stash, and he can't get it for another minute 20, though. So this is... What? It's in his stash. He's got to go back to base. He doesn't want to go back to base. He wants the He's farm. He has remnants. He has remnants, but is he using it? Do you see a remnant in his base? No. There be a remnant in his base, you idiot. I don't know. I'm not an Ember Spirit player. Gunner's going to take down one kill, though. But actually, here they come down. Ryan Ball is going to get dropped as well by Gunners. And back to my argument, I don't know why he doesn't put his hey, look, look, remnant. Look. Oh, look, look. Did you look, see a remnant it. put down? No, he TP'd. He TP'd. He didn't put a remnant down. Yeah. But he's got remnants now. He has remnants now. He had remnants before. He had this remnant before. He didn't use it, though. He didn't use it. He went with the point of putting it out for you. Did he use a crash? 
Either way, they're gonna be pushing down the top tier two, Team Vendetta. Pog, do you have any fries? Uh, fries? Yeah, you've got a lot of salt in you right now. I'm just looking to. I mean, I can go make some fries real quick. <laughs> yeah, just leave the cask. Go make some fries. All right, I'll be right back. Sweet potato or regular potato? That's the main Ooh. question now. Cause I you got make, both. Like, a blend? Oh my god, no, I actually made a blend of tater tots, sweet potato fries, curly fries, and regular fries. And my wife just bought a bag of waffle fries as well. Ah, of course. And I just want to make like the ultimate fries dish and just smother melted cheese on it. Honestly, that sounds like a, that sounds a very like, very American, white American food. Well, thank you, sir. Potatoes smothered in cheese? I mean, yes, and then, you know, I don't even need salt. I have more than enough salt built into me. I have you more do. salt in me than PPD, probably. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and out oh, comes the blink. They're going to be able to get Sammy Girl. <laughs> Sammy Girl's going to go down, but out comes the ring. Out comes the command ring, but out comes the global silence. They might be able to turn it around. Sammy Boy, though, in that BKB, then they're getting completely chased out. And the fight just quickly gets yeah, disconnected. <laughs> Ember's gonna come back in though. This is the time for them to fight other. But no, the winner's curse. The mid leap onto the Slark though. They're gonna completely try to turn around. But no, they're not gonna be able to. Um, what's arriving because it's gonna Water. get taken down and down goes the Slark as well. And oh man, oh man, they try to go in, but as a result of it, they trade in a, a support like like a support for your position one. I don't know if that was a good trade at all. Uh, eh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's one of those. But they're gonna go over more here. The terrible is you will stop. Nope. He's gonna get forced after way, but oh! But no! Oh, he's gonna Vice? get rid of the double stun! It's gonna connect again on the Luna! The Luna, the Lena! She's not gonna live through that. Emma's here's the next one. To and oh, no, no! Well, we're gonna be able to do this, and the Sounds will be able to TP you in. He will be A OK -okay back in base, safe and sound. Oh, my goodness. The amount of back and forth in these fights is just absolutely ludicrous. Roshan almost has a chance to be up. So that will be pretty interesting, to say the least. And here comes Vendetta on the charge. They want this 2-0 victory. They've got the meta up. Now's their time. Here comes Monkey King. But Vice, ooh, okay. He's just seeing what he can see. Going to get a sentry down as well. Vice just completely just making the amount of space for his team as well to be able to push forward into this. And here comes the high ground. They're knocking on the door. Knock, knock. Who is it? It's V for Vendetta. V can be for a lot of things. Okay, Crash. And V can stand for a lot of things. And that's why it's one of the last levers in the alphabet. It's Slark finding himself in a terrible position. Gonna get completely nuked down he tried to make a cheeky play but it doesn't look like it worked out at all oh, double yules double rainbow out of nowhere ray of Boris. he's gonna jump in but he's just gonna die and oh no old white he's gonna try to go in but no vice says no and out comes the stones and they're just going back and forth and silencing and stunning and bibbing and bobbing and, and something Bill Cosby related, probably. Gunner's gone absolutely ballistic as he's being forced to just go up into the air. Vice is trying to make another play, but you know what though? It's just gonna calm down just a little bit. Go kill the Rage Rex! It has 130 health, no! I'm sorry. Spooks and stuff. Ooks and stuff. Ooks and stuff. It's a silencer and Alina! <laughs> Yeah? Look, go to Blade is down! Yeah? <laughs> Lena has two other spells. Excuse me, princess. Okay, okay. Good. I I'm just saying, they could have. They, they could have just. They could have done something. <laughs> well, they could have, yeah, but they didn't. And they're gonna be okay with that. They got the racks. They don't want to lose anything more than they already did while gaining so much. I mean, this is true, this is true. You don't know, see, that's like, that's like the, that's like the over-aggressiveness in me. That's fair. That's like the over-aggressiveness in me talking. Yeah, I know, it's oh, awful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, so you're not wrong. Sense.
I mean, this this oh. time. This time's to go. This time's to Slark, go. Slark gonna get spotted out by the sentry rune, and we have the other team members of Team Vendetta. They're gonna be moving over. Gunner over in the top lane. He's gonna try to see if he can make a play onto Rio Borus, but you know what though? He's if he does go in though, it's gonna be pretty bad. Smoke is gonna get used. They're gonna try to see what they can do to make a play, try to get themselves back into this game. They are 7k gold behind, but you know the one They're good not team find fight. Much. Yeah, they're not going to find much, but you know, the one good team find, they might be able to turn things around towards their favor. Slark is coming, moving forward. He's going to try to see what he can do. Um, but no, actually, Team Vendetta doing a phenomenal job actually inadvertently avoiding them. It looks like that they're going to try to see what they can do to set up their own smoke or something. Well, they would if they had their own, but no, they're going to use a Moonlight Shadow, which is almost just as good. Almost just as good, but they're hunting in the wrong way. Oh, absolutely. I mean... But you know what? No, though. Sammy Girl, though, he might be able to spot out ZR. It just depends. They're going to see that. They're going to see the Revenant. Here it comes. Out comes the Yule Scepter. Out comes the arrow. The arrow is going to get used as well. And Vice actually with the stun, with the silence, and down he goes. Yeah, there he goes on the tip. Yep. Yep. Out comes the tip. Bad dude's top tower uh -oh. going to fall uh -oh. soon. Lena. Ooh. The dodge. The up and the way that no! Oh, just barely missing out on it. By the hairs of his chinny chin chin, he stays safe. Yep, and space created. This bot tier two is also going to drop as well. And yeah, this is uh, definitely lot not looking uh, too good. Fourteen pretty swag boys. They're not feeling too swagging right now. As right now, their front door is getting knocked on again, once again. Sammy Boy, he's in right now. He is going to get Yule's up, though. Is there going to be a good follow-up? Well, Boris, that BKB getting used just in time. So that way, they don't get stunned at all. And just all this damage coming down. And no, Mer Slark, Slark is going to get spotted by the Sentry Ward. He is going to take down that Sentry Ward. But here comes Gunner, though. He's jumping in. And Sammy Boy just... Just a ludicrous amount of damage, actually. Tower is going to get denied. So, I mean, at least a thousand gold doesn't get moved. Um, you know, subtracts a thousand gold from the two thousand that they would have originally gotten from taking out that tower. So, two thousand. Well, no, two thousand minus a one thousand because you only get a hundred. Oh, what the fuck? No, five hundred. I'm retarded. I can't maths. I mean, excellent. You know what they say. Um, Ryo Boros though, he's gonna spot out the he's gonna spot out the Roshan and they're gonna try to see what they can do to grab it. Because the last thing that they wanna do is they wanna see this Terra Blade pick up uh pick up this Aegis. So Out comes the Moonlight Shadow though though. They might have an inkly feeling about it though, as Vice he they did definitely do. Yeah, Vice, he's actually coming towards it right now. Is he going to pull a steal off? I mean, we're definitely going to have to find out. Here comes here comes the Rampage, actually. They are going to be spotting out the Winter Wyvern. Ring of Command is going to get completely dropped down. And Slark, all the focus come down onto him. Smoke is going to get used, but it doesn't even matter. He's going to use his ultimate. He's going to be able to run away from it. And they're just going to completely disengage. Winter Wyvern has successfully bought back. And as a result of it... Pretty swag boys. They're going to be forced to run out of the Roche pit and have to tend to this fight. Here comes ZR. He's going to be moving in. That arrow flies out. It's not going to connect, though. However, the LSA, it's going to be able to hit, too. And right now, Vendetta, none of these teams, it doesn't look like that they want to take this fight at all. Uh, both Roche teams. Roche is so low. He's oh. just happy someone saved his life. Oh, yeah. No, but absolutely. He probably is terrified as to what's going to be coming up next for him. Oh, yeah. I mean, both it's... Both teams farming the Ancients. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but no, I drops though. He's going to get completely caught out. He's slowed. Arrow's not going to connect, but no, Sammy Boy's just going to hack and slash him down. But no, he buys back immediately because he knows the danger that's about to happen if they completely let it happen. Uh, if he just sits out. Yeah, exactly. Global silence is way too important. Uh -oh. Vice, though, he's going to find a wild Slark, though, in the middle of the river. And Ooh, Slark is going to get hex? completely gone on. The Hex is going to go down. The Glimmer Cape, it looks like it is going to be able to get him out and get him safe. And Sammy Boy, out comes the BKB. And he's going into Metamorphosis. I drop. He's going to get a die back now. And down he goes. And now the Roche Pit, it is going to get started to be taken down right now. And out it goes. Fight just might break out as well. LSA going to get used. And Royal Boros, he's going to jump in. Oh, no. Winter's Curse is going to 
be used as well as a Centaur War Runner. Thankfully so, he has a lot of health to take all this damage, but no! Gunner, with that one monkey bar, he slams it down onto the ground, gets a phenomenal stun. Sammy Girl's gonna get stunned. Slark City is super low health. All white and low health as well. They're all gonna get taken down. And buyback's coming out left, right, and center as Gunner is godlike right now. Aegis did get dropped. And who picked up the Aegis? I don't even know. Sammy Boy picks it up. It's okay. But what a fight. Oh my goodness. So that was a uh, <laughs> perfect fight. Marana finished the sheep stick there uh, near the beginning of that fight. It was a brand new unveiling of the sheep stick that totally just demolished them. Absolutely. Oh man, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Like, oh my god. So Slark is <laughs> gonna ignore that. Slark <laughs> turns, gonna turn his attention towards a BKB for his next pickup. Ember Spirit gonna look for a Lincolns. He's getting pretty. Eh, he's not actually that close. He's got 600 gold. Yeah. TB with the blink is what he's looking for. Silencer's looking to live, <laughs> I guess. Oh, jeez, Luis. Crash, for the record, combined vice and gunner they both have died five times total like if you combine both of their deaths why am i combining their deaths i don't know no, just to show how insane those two guys are being okay okay just to show how insane they're being <laughs> sure okay like the amount of survivability that they have fair enough so <laughs> wyvern's just Wyvern is queued up smoke and then just a bunch of wards. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know you're playing support when. I mean, I mean he just quick buys. He, he, he just he just he he quick buys. It, he, I mean you got to get that goes to AI stat statistics up for your uh, less mouse clicks. The prize is mine. It does look like a double damage rune actually going to be spawning as well as a haste rune. Smoke going to be used in the top lane. The phone's going to be ringing. It's somebody scamming me, probably. <laughs> trying to get my social security number and date of birth, probably. I thought, that was, I thought that was your wife's ringtone. No, that's not my wife's ringtone. Okay. No, no. Hers is the uh, hers is the, the Imperial March with uh, Darth Vader. Okay. <laughs> But, um, anyways. Delve deeper into, <laughs> deeper into Pocket's personal life where he compares his wife to Darth Vader. Let's, All uh, right. let's not, and let's focus on this wonderful Dota. <laughs> what is the <laughs> banana? What? <laughs> Look at that speedy banana go around. <laughs> and out comes a Yule's. F this banana in particular. What in the got world? The Aegis. Doesn't have to be too scared. Backdoor protection, but not for a long. Light struck array gonna go down as well. This Rax is taking a pretty not a lot of damage, but it's taking a decent amount of damage. But you know, looking and at it. Back to base. <clears throat> yeah, gonna go back to base. Slark actually over into the top lane right now. He has his TP. Trying to eke out as much farm as he can. He wants this VKB though. Here comes the stampede into the ring of command. And they're going to be focusing down the Rex, but no, the Glyph is going to get popped. Slark is TP'd back into the fight. He is going to be using a Shadow Blade. No BKP just yet. He has enough gold. He actually should be getting it. I would advise to get it, but I don't know, though. Um, he's probably more focused on the fight and defending it. Bot lane melee Rex is going to go down, and that's... Yeah. That's it. That's enough. That's, that's it, actually. All of that for... They use their BKBs. They're going to yeah. go again when BKBs... As soon as they're up, they should, they should just hover over the area. Yeah. But you also have to think, though, the Aegis of the Immortal, I mean, is it going to be up long enough, though, to wait for that BKB to come back up? 40 and seconds? It should be. They've waited, though, a pretty good amount of time, though, before... That's true. Since, you know, right. since Roche has gone down, though. So you'd have to be a little bit weary of that. No, you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. Centaur, still trying for the eggs. He took the 20, 20 strength talent, which, I mean, makes sense. Does the, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it does, but does the upgraded, um, like, <laughs> to double edge damage do damage to you? Like, I feel like that's really bad. I would like, imagine... Like, you're yourself for almost a thousand damage? Does he have a health? Oh! 
I don't think it would. Otherwise, like, you'd have Centaur chunking half of his health. Yeah, but I don't know. The next time we see him use double edge, I mean, we'll definitely have to find out. Well, no, he didn't get the double edge time. Oh, he didn't. Okay. No, no, no. And, you know, as yeah. if Robot Vice needed any more range, he just picked up his Aether Lens as well. Um, Sammy Boy just picks up his Blink as well. And... Yeah, they're going to be going over for that shrine. So Moonlight Shadow. They're now going to look for this uh, T3 now. Aegis <clears throat> is gone. Yep. BKB is running low. Five seconds, I'm assuming, for everyone. Monkey, five seconds. TB, five seconds. Marana, no BKB. Gunner Ember. playing around with that command ring. Yeah. Doing some Ember's somersaults. Lincoln's is done. Lena has an axe, which is a lot of damage. Going for a sheep stick as well. And, oh! Arrow's going to fly and is also going to catch him out. Um, Rio Boros, he's going to try to do what he can to save his teammate. Global Silence, it is going to get used. BKB going to be used for Sammy oh. Boy. And down goes ZR in a very rapid fashion. No buyback left for him. Slark, he's trying to do whatever he can to save his team. And he's trying to get on the winner Wyvern. He is going to be able to take him down. And he's going to try to see what he can to do to chase. But no, he's dead as well. Down for another two minutes. Good game. Well played. GG. Going to get caught by Rio Boros. Sammy Girl has disconnected as well as Rio Boros. And that will be they for Vendetta taking the series 2-0. If you were against Vendetta and if you see Vice, you should probably ban Earth Spirit. I'm just saying. I would assume so, yeah. That was just phenomenal play by Vendetta. Like, all around, across the board, they maintained, held their lead the entire game. Absolutely bonkers, actually. So... This is pretty crazy, and, you know, looking at the uh, just sheer amount of damage dealt by well, by Vice, it doesn't look like it's a lot, but when you look at the sheer amount of impact he had in that game, it's just instrumental. Oh my god, that, 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 that game would have been different if Vice wasn't for Spirit. Oh, Vice. absolutely. There was so many kills he set up. There was a ludicrous amount of kills that he, that he set up. Yeah. So, but, oh my goodness, though. Just the sheer amount of damage, though, that Ryu Boros has, uh, has received, though. He, he took 60k damage. Oh and my god, huh? Just you're, doing the right, you're doing your right job. No, no, but looking in retrospect, though, Slark took 54k. I don't know if that's uh, to show the positioning or what. Uh, well, Slark takes 54 well, because, like, Slark, Slark's the type of hero, you know. Comes yeah, I mean, I mean, he can regen it as well, but it's, like... Man, seeing your seeing your position one core take that much damage though, so yeah. But either way, congratulations to Team Vendetta. Very well done. Puts them at a very strong start into the group play, which is going through all over through the seasons. Um, trying to take a look right now, trying to see what we have going on. Do, 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 do. Later today in the NADCL at about, um, actually starting pretty soon, or if it hasn't already started, uh, oh no, Pretty Boy Swag versus Truffle Salt should be starting pretty soon on the main NADCL channel. And at 6 p.m. PST, we're going to have Blue Wheel versus Blue Pikachu also on the main NADCL stream. And Vendetta We'll be playing against Bermudan Frogs later this evening. Uh, at the moment, we don't have a caster assigned to it just yet. Um, but if there is, check out the NADCL Discord, and you will definitely find out under League Discussion. Tomorrow, we're going to have Runes versus Blue Pikachu over at 4 p.m. PST. And Black Sheep versus Truffle Swalt is, Salt is going to be at 6 p.m. PST. And finally, to round up the week, on Sunday, we're going to have Bermudan Frogs versus Wheel. No uh, no, no stream right now for it. And at 1.30 PST, we're going to have Black Sheep versus Team Runes. Exciting so, game. A lot, a lot of exciting Dota for today, no less. 
And for the rest of the week on Saturday and Sunday, keep your calendars marked. Um, if, you have, if you have any more information, you can definitely go to NADCL.com or you can check out the Discord. Um, until then, um, do you have any other closing words, Crash? No, uh, I think you pretty much covered it all there. You What's happening in the tournament? Um, Want to say good games, both teams. Good luck's going into the future. Vendetta got another game to play today. Pretty Boy Swag, I don't think they do. So uh, good luck to them later. No, Pretty and... Boy Swag is playing like another game pretty like momentarily. Oh, like, yeah, they're, well, then. they're against Truffle Salt in the actual official stream. So okay. they're going to. Well, then good luck to both of them. Oh, absolutely. So... Vice, keep playing that Earth Spirit, man. Yeah. Um... Good stuff. These were good games. Absolutely. Bermudan Frogs later tonight. When you guys have your game, now you know. Ban Earth Spirit. You see Earth Spirit, you ban that guy. Yeah. Otherwise, you're in trouble. But anyways, I am Pocket Socks, and joined with me today is Crash. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.